All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Squad Brunch Podcast, episode number 17. We are at the end of 2022. It's Christmas season. Just happened this weekend. Yep. How was your guys' Christmas? How are the fams? What'd you guys do? It was chill, man. Just had like a dinner with my parents and my yep. sister, and that's it, really. What'd nothing, you eat? Nothing special. Uh, Friday, veal parm. Ooh. Uh, Friday, no, that was Saturday, actually. And then uh, Sunday, turkey. Mm, okay, turkey, nice. you're, are turkey you a stuffing. turkey on Christmas guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. family, turkey mm. stuffing, uh, veggies. Really? Are you? We do. Yeah, we do do turkey on um on, on Christmas. Even though I, yeah, we do. You like turkey? <laughs> I like it, but like we have it at Thanksgiving. So I would like like I would prefer lamb or something, something a little like off the fucking ball. Because mm-hmm. I had that in like a previous relationship. I went into her house and it was all lamb, and I loved it, and it was way better than turkey. Turkey's like. Reminds me too much of Thanksgiving. I don't know. But I'll still get, you only get two turkeys a year, though. So it's like. Yeah, it's true. You don't get turkey a lot. Yeah. So yeah, I'll body it, but it's like. It's not my favorite. Yeah, I've never had turkey on it seems Christmas. Like turkey's just a Thanksgiving thing. What do you have yeah. then on uh, Christmas? So on Christmas Eve, you can't eat meat. Like, that's an Italian thing. Yeah, um, I've, I've seen a lot of seafood going out there. Yeah, so we had just fish, pasta, um, and then Christmas Day was. Um, like my nonna made like ribs and like sausage nice. and stuff like that and then lasagna nice. or pasta yeah that's nice. it bread hey. typical can, um italian yeah but the thanksgiving like the the turkey thing really throws me off a bit i think so why i i don't know turkey doesn't fit christmas i didn't know people opinion. have that i don't have turkey on <laughs> on christmas yeah my family does I think it's, it's, it really depends on the per family it's doesn't yeah, it's, it make you feel like shit though dude turkeys nah. make me tired so tired <laughs> well that's like scientifically proven i don't feel is that, it actually though. yeah nah, it come I s- on bro. bro i had it i fucking had a leg that was like literally like this big it was like a fucking massive leg and i felt like fine <laughs> really no, i was dude, ready to go man there's literally it's sci- no max a beast though it's scientifically <laughs> proven in the amino acid there's some there's some sort of amino acid that makes you tired no i'm not doubting and i like <laughs> crashed after like after i was like yo i'm tired as well. i'm so tired yeah, but turkey, like, I'd prefer, like, a lamb or yeah, ham or lamb. anything else. Chicken, I'll do, I'll do anything Dude, else. Dude, a good ham would be nice. Ham, I love, a good so lamb too, bro. So cake, man. That's Easter <laughs> vibes, though. I usually have, like, a nice ham. Like, really? a nice cooked ham, yeah. I don't think I've ever had just, like, ham for, Same. for dinner or, like, a big, like, roast. <laughs> it's not for, <laughs> it's I'm usually tell, I'm telling you, bro, it's a nice, like, that's, that's a nice fucking I've thing. I've only seen it on Ham goes on the TV side shows. or something, no? Yeah. Like on the side, but like it's with a side like turkey. Thing. Like, do you cut them <laughs> thick, the pieces of ham, or is it like it's probably like a you got to qu- quarter inch, maybe like as if like a steak kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. No, no, not as, not as thick really as steak. Thick. It's like this. No, but you, you eat it just like straight ham, like not a sandwich or anything. Well, no, like it'd be like ham, and then like my parents would make like a, a like a brown sugar like glaze that's really good and, like, okay. like a gravy so yeah it's like a, a side. It's a sauce basically, not, not like a gravy. When we have really ham, good. it's usually like a side. So there's like a turkey or another meat and then you can mm-hmm. have ham as like put a couple pieces on your plate if you want so it's not like Same. the main it's not the main protein the i'll usually have that as the main for like easter dinner oh really okay i can see some that people do like that mashed at easter. potatoes then like veggies yeah and set in. Mm. nice damn man, i've never had ham but uh do you guys get anything fun for christmas do anything what'd you get crazy? Steph? i know you're wearing yours oh yeah they got this from my sister nice tech Ooh. please sweater blue sweater nice. um I got see my parents paid for my new phone when, yeah, I, got, no. when I broke that like a nice. couple of weeks ago. Nice. It's a dub. And then they just gave me some cash, you know, to spend. They actually left for Christmas break. So they're so gone. I had the base to myself and my sister. Nice. <laughs> so you were just by yourself on Christmas? Yeah. My sister actually went to her boyfriend's house. I wasn't with Harley, Fuck. sorry. Damn. That's yeah. so Dude, do- dogs are always coming in clutch, man. Yeah, yeah. What'd at least I had someone, you know what What'd I mean? What'd you do? I just chilled at home. Watch movies? Yeah. TV. PlayStation. No, just TV movies. Nice. Christmas movies or no? No. No way. No. What'd you watch? Anything cool? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Went through one, out the other. Just another day of like, <laughs> yeah. stuff. So, like, it was like it wasn't even Christmas, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Dude just had a free base for the week and he's like, this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, did you, how, was it still like... It was I, still actually, still? Um, I actually went to go play soccer. Some guys invited me to play soccer. Nice. I went, I went for a drop in soccer. Okay. And these guys were like, Dude, we like the way you play. We need some people for this upcoming tournament, and they invited me to play. Oh wow! Oh, when was that? Yeah, randoms. Wait, you went by yourself for this drop? No, 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 no. I went with like Clyde. Uh, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, and then sure. they invited. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Nice. So I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I'm, I'm not gonna do anything, so I might as well have some fun playing soccer. Yeah. How'd you guys do? We won a couple games, but then yeah. we. Wait, when was this? 
on Christmas. It was two days actually. Wait, Christmas Day has happened? Yeah. Oh, so man. they were like, um, they don't. A lot of them don't celebrate Christmas. Oh. Okay. So they were not doing anything that day, I guess. Holy shit, dude! You got recruited for pickup soccer. That's <laughs> I was like, cool. I was like, dude, this, this doesn't happen very often. I was like, fuck it. Yeah. I'm not doing anything on Christmas. <laughs> My parents are in fucking India. I'm gonna fucking go rip with the boys, eh? <laughs> that's pretty sick, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun. Damn. Damn. I actually fucking lost my wallet though. I think someone stole my pants. What? It was my OVO <laughs> pants. I think someone stole my pants. Yo. So you have whoa. no IDs anymore? Bro, no. So the guy who invited me to play knows the organizer. He sent a fucking email out to all the captains of the teams. And someone actually messaged back saying they have my wallet. Oh, shit. But didn't give your pants No, back? so they mentioned they have my wallet and my keys, but they didn't mention the pants. Oh, and so they your just wallet your and pants. keys were in yeah, the pants. Yeah, like you wouldn't have my wallet and keys without my pants. Oh, so <laughs> they just took your pants and they gave but you they back They didn't your mention wallet. it back, but the guy who said he's going to get it back for me, hopefully he gets it back today. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> wow. That's he said, wow. He, said, out of nowhere. he, did, he sent me Christmas a picture day. of my ID, though. So he has my shit. Damn. Yeah. Dude, press him with the pants, though, when you see him. No, no. So he said, he's like, I'm going to get the wallet and the keys first. And then after he gets that, he's going to be like, How the hell do you have this without the pants? <laughs> oh, <laughs> right yeah, 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 yeah. So, damn, that interesting was a story. story. <laughs> no, good, good Christmas for you, eh? <laughs> that was a curveball. Eventful Christmas for stuff, man. Yeah, nice. That's sick. What yeah. happened to your nose, Chance? I see it's got like a little red. I don't know if that's a pimple or what's going on. You just picking at it? So, went to the gym yesterday and um, was doing shoulders. You were there. I don't know how you didn't notice prior to, but um, I was doing like the shoulders where you have the barbell with the weights on the side. Oh, and you like pick it up and then push up. So I was like going pretty quick. It was just like 10 on each side. So I was just, like just banging them out, banging them out. And then like I go up for one and just smoke, smoke my nose. nose yeah. going up. Fuck. And it's like the bars that have like the scratchy like yeah, middle yeah, yeah. part. The grip, um, the grip on it. The grip. Yeah. So it just like scraped my whole nose. I thought I was going to start bleeding. Luckily didn't. But um, yeah, it's, like, a, it's like just like a little scar, right? Like yeah, a little scratch. just a little scratch. It looks like a pimple, but it's not. It. I thought it was a pimple. <laughs> I was like, you never get pimples, just like right on your nose, like Rudolph. Oh, yeah, Rudolph. Yeah, makes sense. If for it the was holidays, my, right? If it was my beak, I would have fucking broken my nose. Yeah. That bar <laughs> fucking smoked mine. Should have had a surgery the next. Yeah, day. I would have been like, what happened to this guy? I'd be like, fat, bad incident at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it would have fixed it up. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but no, yeah, pretty simple. Nice. Yeah. Solid. But uh, I got a I got a new Mac for Christmas. Nice, that was fun. How do you like it? Another big present that I really liked was because I I'm, I always use your like cologne and stuff, right? Your yeah, boy cologne. got some oh. uh, Sauvage. Hey, oh, hey. Oh, hey. hey. Dropped hey. Yeah. Out the Dior. That's yeah. a good. That's top tier cologne. Top tier. So good. Dude. I wore it over Christmas. Love it. Got um, compliments. Got some also compliments. got a Versace one too. For the, it's like more oh, of a shit. summer vibe. So Jeez. maybe I'll wait till Cali Damn. to pull that out. Nice. Good yeah. shit, nice. dude. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. Solid, bro. Yeah. But uh, did you, what'd you guys get? Like your fam? Did you guys get your fam anything for Christmas? Yeah, I got my brother. He needed a new headset for to talk to his boys over Xbox. So I got him a headset. Um, me and my brother got my mom a nice bracelet. Um, what else did my dad? I got him some new balls, golf balls, top tier golf balals. And then I also got him a winter hat. Because mm -hmm. he always steals our hats, so I got him a winter hat. <laughs> steals the winter hat. He'll just like grab any hat that he finds, so I got him a nice one, a little pom pom made out of a hockey sock. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Like Toronto Maple Leafs one. Or? Yeah, it was blue and white. Yeah, it was it didn't have the like leaves on it. It was just blue and white. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's dope. What'd you guys get your fam? Uh, mom a cookbook. Dad, okay. dad some wine. Just pretty, Classic. Pretty simple. Pretty Gosh. casual. Nothing for sis. No, unfortunately. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> that's <would>, funny <laughs> no, would buy you. i got um my sister airpods but like my mom got them so it's like kind of it was kind of like an offsetting thing <laughs> like, wait like your mom paid for them your mom bought them but it was from you yeah the idea it was yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah 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 okay yeah but are but, you paying her for the airpods well like yeah so <laughs> basically like in like my mom still pays for like the dentist and stuff but I recently went to like the dentist and I had a doctor thing that I had to pay for. So like it was like an offsetting. Thing. Oh, OK. I yeah. got you. All right. I got you. I yeah. get it. So yeah. it just kind of like worked. Out I had something sense. similar because my mom, <laughs> I was planning on going and getting my brother. Like I was going to go to Best Buy and get him the headset. And my mom was already out shopping. So she called me. She's like, hey, I'm at Best Buy. Do you want, I'll just get the headset if you e-transfer me. So it was kind of like an assist. Like she got it. And then I e-transferred. I was like, great. I don't have to leave my house and do anything. I just had to wrap it. Nice. It was pretty lit. So it's kind of like an assist. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, she didn't yeah. wrap it for you either? No. Wait, yeah. what? No. Uh, my sister wrapped all the gifts. 
Including I'm not good at rapping. Those rap. I'm those AirPods. It's pretty no, easy to rap. Did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shitty at rapping. Good presents, pretty, man. Not that hard. I'm, I'm pretty bad too. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather just like a bag. Bags are easy. Bags, and oh, tissue nice. paper. Bags suck though. Dude. Bags, I know. Presents are Same way. Tissue paper. Yeah. Presents are dude, way more fun. They are. Dude, I have a video. Harley, are, yeah. Harley loves to open presents on Christmas. I what'd you saw get them? Their sister's Instagram story. Wait, what'd you get them? Like a bunch of just like uh, fluffy toys. He nice. knows. Like he can. I don't know if there's like a scent in the toy. But he knows like which ones are his, and he'll go and scratch at it, and he'll open it. He, does yeah. it apart. Yeah. he looked like he was having a little bit of trouble when he on the. He does. He needs them. a little bit like someone to hold him. Otherwise, he just keeps pushing it away. You know what I mean? Yeah, it slides off. Yeah, the yeah. Hardwood floor. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Um, nice. Got my dad leave tickets. Hey Going now. To game Jane third in St. Louis. That's a good game. Yeah. It's it's hopefully game. they score because they're both like pretty defensive, defensive teams, teams huh. this year. Um, and then my mom a Nike jacket. That one was rough. <laughs> Me and Chip were at the mall for that one. Yeah, I was like going back and forth. Oh, like if I should it's get like shopping with a girl, dude. <laughs> so indecisive, bro. He's like, should I get it? Like, Yo, which yeah, one? dude, it's nice. Get it. And then he, we left, went and got food. And he's like, all right, I'm going to go get it. I was like, bro, we just wasted so much time. Well, you sell at least at the mall? Yeah. yeah okay. But it was just like the indecisiveness of going to store to store and not getting something like you want to make sure you get your mom a perfect gift no you do that's why like but i'm a shopper where i'm going in knowing what to get so i'm like a one two store i'm out you know what i mean i don't want to spend you already know what you're getting yeah but if you're just looking for something and you don't know like that that's why clothes are hard though yeah clothes can be hard or if you just don't know what you're getting someone you're just gonna go shopping yeah that's like like, good luck that's (laughs) yeah yeah but it was nice did she like it yeah she liked it nice she has something similar but this one's warmer so nice and it's like more it's better material, so solid. I think this will b- replace that one. Solid, yeah. So got an upgrade. I nice. think I was a pretty good gift giver and and receiver this year. Solid, nice. you solid, solid Christmas, Christmas, bro. Solid Christmas. Good Christmas for the boys. Yeah. Nice. You know who probably didn't have a good Christmas? Who? who? Logan Paul. Oh, he seeing looks all those like videos he had come a out. pretty good Christmas. He I did. I feel like he doesn't really care. I don't think so. I think so either. Like I mean, I think so as well. Yeah. Do you want to fill the people in on kind of the whole LP situation? Yeah. So I watched week? I watched the whole series last night, yeah. and um, great, great series. Yeah. It went by like actually pretty quick. If you yeah. like just watching it. Yeah. yeah, it flew by, dude. The very well. Like Thirty produced. minutes. I was like, holy shit! I'm already done this video. Yep. Yeah. So I honestly I don't think it did a really good job of like exposing Logan. I don't, I don't think Logan think so was either. the one to blame. To be honest, out like, of fully at the end of the series, it looks like out of all of the people involved, he was like. The best. Yeah. Him and yeah. his manager. Yeah. So I to give some that, yeah. background, I guess, to the viewers is like, um, Logan Paul launched Crypto Zoo, which was like the, a supposed project. to be this like big NFT project where you can actually like, it's a play to earn game where yep. you, it's similar to like Pokemon where you can evolve, like develop characters, you know, mm-hmm. or merge characters. It starts with an egg and then you can hatch the egg, get a, get an animal. And then if you can get two breed hatched them. eggs, you can breed them. The more rare an animal is, obviously the more expensive. What does be. rare really mean here though? Being at the top or being at the bottom? Like more The most evolved. rare traits. So like if there's oh. only one, like let's say there's probably, for example, a limited amount of, let's say, um, Pikachu, for example. If there is a an egg that hatched a Pikachu and there's only one of X, you know, Pikachus, mm-hmm. and then you rare a, you breed a rare one with another rare one, then you get like an extremely rare one. Because in the first case, it's probably the rarity just stems from the 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 first animal. Yeah. Um, and then the the more rare characters you breed together is obviously going to be the less chance of the way he was showing it too is like a pyramid. Yeah, <laughs> it looked. It honestly could have been a cool game. Like it was like a Pokemon, you know. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. the sense of a crypto Pokemon, but that whole like token system just honestly, I don't think works out. Like you realistically can't play to earn. And you're just giving them free if points. If you're not, if the game itself is not generating revenue. Yeah. Cause then it's just a cycle. It's effect. just people it's joining starts, in. Yeah. Whoever who's is funding the next people. Exactly. Exactly. It's a pyramid scheme. Basically it's like whoever is the first one to play and start earning they're going to earn the most and it's yeah. going to go less and less and less and less the only way people, people are join. making money off if people jo- keep joining yeah exactly um very similar to a pyramid <laughs> scheme so yeah. right off the bat honestly i don't think like this had um, potential yeah much potential unless like they start bringing in advertisers and then you start actually like bringing in outside money to yeah. fund these yep. people playing the game um, but aside from that, it didn't even get to the point of like you can hatch a, an, the game an animal. Yeah, game the never game worked. never worked. Yeah. And I think the 
the biggest like scheme of it all was that Logan was promoting that it's going to be this big thing and like going to work. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they kept on pushing the game, even though they knew that there is a lot of like shit going on in the background. Yeah. And he so made I that think, statement too. I, I don't know what he said exactly. He was like, dude, it's such a fun game that you can make money off. Yeah. Playing a video game. Yeah. It was like, it looks so bad. Yeah. Like it just, it looks really bad. And I think knowing that because they even, even that interviewer that interviewed Eddie, um, Ibanez, Ibanez, um, Ibanez, whatever. I, Ibanez. He Ibanez. went to Jeff and told Jeff, like, "Hey, I think like this guy that is your lead developer is a complete fraud, like a scam artist." Exactly. Basically, yeah. And they and at two months after that phone call, they continued working with him. Like, yeah. Knowing that potentially this guy is a fraud, and he's yeah. lying about shit like the NFL or yeah. whatever. So, His whole life. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> That's my thing. The biggest thing for me was this Eddie Ibanez guy, Same. who said he went to MIT. Was this prodigy Lied about at MIT, that. worked with the CIA? No. None of that. Didn't go to MIT. Didn't work with the NFL. Said he worked the for Philly, the Eagles. Phillies. He didn't work there. Bro, he never worked there. Never either. worked there. Showed literally proof of email. Is this guy in your system? They're like, no idea who this is. So I don't He's, know. He was also vouching for people that they were investors, saying that, hey, we have these guys on board. And then he, some uh, CoffeeZilla messaged them. They, one of the guys denied it. One said, guys, I, don't uh, even, I don't even know who this is. He literally said, this. until this brought to me, I have no idea who exactly. this is. So I don't know. But then when the, when Coffeezilla asked Jeff about it, like, oh, so, but you know, he's well connected <laughs> with all these top tier people. He's like, yeah, that's how we heard about him. I know. It's so so I don't know who this Eddie guy is and why. He's definitely got some connects in the space in terms of just like, if, if they did vouch they for him. They are vouching for him. He, they said on the business side, I guess. Yeah. He was on yeah. Fox too, like for television, a yeah. little cooking show. He also lied about being an orphan too. And being an orphan. <laughs> Bro, he's just weird. weird. He's like lying to all alive. these other people, that's these weird. NFL owners and shit. Like somebody like, who literally worked for him was like, yeah, he told me he was an orphan. Then I met his mom. Yeah. That's the, so his, like, oh, that's, assist, yeah, that's weird. That's a really that's weird, weird thing. weird yeah. to lie about. Like why even, what is that? What is that lie? Like I don't even know. I, I don't know why you're going he's with that story. He's just a pathological like, liar. Like you, just, they can't stop lying, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't like know. he's going for like sympathy kind of thing, but like I don't know why he just keeps pushing that because like it's clearly not working for him. Yeah, yeah so I mean weird. it did work. I think <laughs> it worked <laughs> really well. I think it was more so like the MIT and like the actual like CIA, CIA, and CIA shit. job that was like kind of more pushing him for jobs and stuff because that's pretty impressive resume to start off with. Yeah, I mean I think he went the route of like you know catching like that that whole started from nothing and became like such a big time guy yeah. Yeah. vibe of like a storyline. It's like I'm an orphan and then I I was mm-hmm. able to you know get he's to a good M- talker. MIT. You know, so work for the CIA, and I know all these like top notch pe- billionaires. People. He's just able to make stories, even with that Phillies one. He just, I swear, he made one on on the spot. Bro, <laughs> that video game thing. <laughs> he was, was closing like, his eyes the I whole know. time in that interview. I'm like, are so you, I was are like, you bla- like, not even looking at the camera. <laughs> Bro, Bro, I straight up thought he was like, just, he was probably just picturing his whole story as he was saying <laughs> it. He was like, yeah. Next? So I worked for the Phillies, you know, we talked <laughs> about this, like, talked to the data team, and he just closed his eyes the whole time. Yeah. He either was really sunny that day or something. <laughs> Or he was just making it up from scratch. Yeah. Do you think, I guess, at the end of the day, after CoffeeZilla posted these three videos, going kind of, he's doing well right now. All three videos are crushing it. Huge talk on Twitter throughout. Logan Paul tweeted an email messaging him saying he wants to have him on impulsive, which is now this is becoming weird but because the part he had him blocked. Also, it didn't make sense. What CoffeeZilla said is after they got rid of that guy, they still, it was still like kind of sketchy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's, that's the part like know. Logan Paul, Paul, I think needs to explain. That's oh, dude, we need where, to That's thing. when he should have come out. I think. Well, I think it was a scam from the start, though. Like, you think, I think, think he knew that. I think a hundred percent he knew that, and yeah. dude, they all bought up coins from the beginning I know, before I saw it that. was even launched. They, they did a they stealth, stealth launch, launch yeah, to buy up all of the coins, yeah. and dude, then <laughs> and then basically. I saw a really good tweet. It was like a bunch of scammers, you know, come together to make this, yes. to make this, um, yeah, to make this project. And they all and scammed each other. And obviously, you know, they, it was like the first one to scam each other. That's and what it Crypto could. King, it came down to is like he scammed Logan. Logan got pissed, kicked him out, you know, removed blacklist. He joined with, the, so the, what's his name again? Jeff or so fucking I, Jeff is the manager. manager. Yeah. No, the, the developer. Uh, Eddie Ibanez. Eddie. Eddie Ibanez. He got man. with Eddie, right? He Eddie still got his shit back. Eddie got like one point seven mil? million. Because yeah. he said million. Eddie, him and Eddie kicked him out or something. Didn't issue him shares or the new um, tokens. Yeah. So. It, and even those tokens that they had, too. they could sell. Only they were the ones that, that were able to sell. Yeah. From the I think launch. Logan wasn't like educated in the space. To be honest, I think he just built a team. So well, like the fart. fact that 
can I? Yeah, be, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, he was building a team to like market it and just kind of sell it and make as much money as he can. Like, I don't think he actually cared about the project. Yeah, yeah. Because like they literally was just like, yo, when it went down from like 120 million to 40 million, he was just calling the fact that it went down to that. He didn't care about actually like, making this game. Yep. That's true. But like, he, he was very pissed. stuck. He on never that. sold he was though. Pissed. Very and pissed. And it like, you think he would have sold? Well, is I it, think what, he would have. He, I think he thought, like you know, at that point, it's, it's not worth selling. Yeah. Like it's, it's, yeah. Uh, it's better, it looks better to just keep it. Yeah, I think at that point it's like now, he, the crypto king guy basically scammed, the, the you know the people. There's now real people involved. Yeah, because he got more tokens. But right? technically, he didn't scam anybody. Well, because they ethically reissued. he did something bad. That's, but like legally, he didn't do anything. Yeah, but bad. see, you that's the part you, where if it's you're like, a founder, you cannot dump on that. That's like that's basically illegal. And that's, that's it's, not a, it's not illegal though because they did that soft launch. And it was technically no, anyone could have bought up th those uh, yeah, but tokens. Just because it's not legally doesn't mean that you're not doing something wrong. You should still yeah, be ethically that, he did something he wrong, yeah. but legally he did not do anything wrong. Well, I, I know, mean, I think like, legally in the terms of crypto sense, but if that was like a stock and someone was issued a bunch of shares prior to an, I, an IPO, the, for example, the thing and then is anyone could have bought these, these things though. They did a stealth launch, so it was open market, and he sold open market. That's what he did. Yeah, no, so he basically that's the, it's scammed just not them legally. You're, like he's just saying I scammed you guys legally. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Which is like saying like, like oh he, I scammed He like, did nothing illegal. But legally in the crypto market is like still like gray area of illegal. Yeah. Like if the SEC actually got involved like that was an illegal thing. You can't just do that. Like that's basically IPOing which what should be like a public thing but they yeah. did it privately and then they sold did it, it all off. The Cuz they had to they had two counts that they nobody knew of that actually bought. Oh, he had more tokens. He had more. No, yeah, he bought it. Yeah, he had a multiple. I'm not saying him. I'm saying there was other ones that they have no idea who actually bought that. It no, was that him. was his. Was it his? That was his. Yes. It was his two mm. unknown. He it was probably also bots because there but was like yeah. bot like behavior that can but identify. So apparently, ones. people track like new newer things like that, and they they buy yeah. up stuff. So that's yeah. why like anyone technically could have bought that stuff. Yeah, but it was the two biggest amounts. Yeah, it was well, like two hundred thousand. Both total. of his wallets, yeah, yeah, were the two biggest. But them like even just conspiring like in the meeting notes, bro, of like bro, saying what? this is how much you're gonna get, this is how much you're when gonna Logan get, this said, is what you're gonna sell to make money, like. The rules to sell to. That is rules wild. to sell. Don't go on there like a certain like 3% or whatever a day. Yeah. yeah, like realistically, you should be treating this like a business. You know, you're not going to sell really at any point. You like, want to hold. That's the whole yeah. point where CoffeeZilla was like, dude, this guy is trying to act like the victim. When he was like, he doesn't see the part where he's like, you're literally scamming people, but you're saying you're the worst, you're the best, or I guess, yeah. out of all of these I guys. I think at the end of the series, it, it became unknown. Like we still don't know, I guess, who was the one to blame because everyone, everyone does was, yeah. everyone does have if you were a part of this project had the intention bad intention yeah. from the start everything from the contract legally it was like you were setting this up as a pump and dump I, it was eventually going to be that way and even though logan and jeff didn't sell which i was pretty shocked by still wrong in the sense of and i think the biggest thing at the end of the video was he was still showing and interviewing the people that were affected the investors saying what did you want out of this and one guy made a comment you know i don't care if this like failed or not if it failed you know i know what i'm doing it's my money financially i'm at fault but the fact that the head guy the face of it the founder logan paul didn't have the balls to tell their investors yo this is not going to work. When you knew the development team had problems, when you knew everything was going bad internally, you got to be honest to us because there were people that still invested and there were still yeah. hopes of, you know, false hope of mod people moderating in the chat, like Logan's going to market, Logan's going to market. There was never a plan to market. So it was the false hope that really hurt people. And I feel, and I, I feel bad. Yeah, I think I that's, the, that's the worst part that he didn't even say anything, come clean. Because then at least some people would have got out some money probably before. Would have stopped it, investing. Yeah. Which yeah. might have mean though, like he knew. I just think he realized his fuck up, and he's like, "All right, I'm just gonna cut ties with it, and not say anything about it, so I can take like the least amount of heat." That I think I it was can. Yeah, that makes sense too. Yeah, just like forget about it. it type of it's thing. a scummy move, but like at the end of the day, like this is like a year later now, and people are actually talking about it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's could have been brushed under the rug if it wasn't for Coffeezilla. Like no straight up, knew, no exactly. Other than the it could have been low key. A lot of respect. Ah, a lot. I do have respect for Coffeezilla. Like it took him a whole year. He said for these three videos. Just from investigating, getting people, calling people, interviews. You can tell, dude. He puts a lot of like time and production he, into his videos. He's putting eyes on people too. Like nobody would knew, like would have known about this. And say like Logan Paul now comes with like a new project. People will now invest in that, not knowing what happened with this. Like that's fair with the zoo thing. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. There was another funny point too. When um, what's his name, Crypto King said, 
Logan Paul, you fucking scammed me, you scammed me, and then oh my god, and then he's like, dude, who do you think you are? And Logan Paul's like, I am that guy. He yeah, said you're said, not you that said guy. You're not that guy. Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> hey Jake, guess what? I am that guy. That was that so funny, was dude. so fucked to say that in like a chat like that. Yeah, Bro, he just basically <laughs> said like, I just stopped you, like. I mean, crypto just scammed you. Yeah, it was I just got scammed receipts you. of it now. Like, too, I just, I that. just backstabbed you back. I understand though. Like, Crypto King started it. He did. In terms of the scamming, yeah, yeah he did. Just like, but it was like the first what one. What was the thing though? Did he buy like happen. an uh, an amount that no one knew about or something? He yeah. So he was a part of like the whole initial buying where yeah, yeah, they the were like launch. they had like five people that were supposed to buy, but then he had other wallets that were also buying, and then people were like why is this being bought so basically like he pumped and dumped on the founders <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. yeah when it, when they had a strategic bl- buying plan because they had to like get to whatever yeah, cause that, now if this those guy's percentages a of bigger ma- way bigger amount like 50 percent he controls the market or whatever yeah, exactly yeah so then they blacklisted his wallets to prevent him from doing that again and then when you dump and people are actually involved then I think they Logan and Jeff made the smart move of not selling. Yeah. However, I think their intention would have been to sell. Yes. Still. Yeah. I you think know? he did yeah. that though because like his equity and the thing was so low because like Logan was like fifty one percent. Yeah. Eddie's was thirty. Uh, Jeff was he like, had like ten. Five. He, he, was yeah, like, he only had five. So yeah. I think that's probably why he was pissed off about that a little bit. That's so that he decided like all right, that's I'm gonna do this That's now. just greed. It's, not, it's straight greed. Yeah. Not even that. After Kavizilla said he did like a huge research on all of them and crypto king had he was the one that's done this in multiple projects before like he was known for just pumping and dumping like getting in and getting the fuck out like kind of screwing people over so like, he's like it made sense what his intentions were the entire time seeing his comments pro- dude was so funny just seeing like the scammers scammed each other before the, the, it even went to market yeah <laughs> it's like goddamn the scammers couldn't wait to scam each other yeah, <laughs> yeah. i saw so many of those <laughs> but i think he was probably the most educated one yeah um and you know, I think he probably knew that the project wasn't going anywhere and was yeah. like, hey, let me go make my bag right now. Even through his messages, yeah. you could tell of the way he was like talking about the contract and stuff. Yeah, yeah he, he was, was he was dropping a long like paragraph. Yeah, a lot that's of what stuff, I mean. Explaining the market and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, the liquidity yeah. pools and all yeah. that. He's definitely the most educated in the space. So he was probably like, I'm going to go make my bag. Like he definitely ruined probably a big relationships in the space. But yeah. Like, I don't think that game had was going anywhere. He probably knew behind the scenes that the game didn't even work, yeah. let alone like, yeah, being he knew able everything. To, yeah, to do all that. So he just scammed. Like, he was the first one to scam, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> he is Crypto King for a reason, I guess. Bro, they, yeah. he changed his name from fucking Collectible Guru to Crypto King because mm-hmm. he was he that. Used, he's the one who sold him the Pokemon cards. Yeah. Do you guys think differently now after the situation's done of Logan Paul? Or what do you think's next? Like, how does he go I about I still this? think he needs to clear it up. Okay. Because, like, it's still, I think, things up in the air. Yeah. We don't know for sure, you know what I mean? To make a judgment for sure. Yeah. I think on your point before of the impulsive thing, though, Logan didn't show that he initially, um, CoffeeZilla initially invited him, invited Logan, Jeff, um, Danny, Eddie, and Jake to all be on a live stream so they can't cut it up and talk about the whole scenario. And then... Um, then Logan said, I'm inviting you on Impulsive or whatever. Wait, who invited who first? CoffeeZilla invited Coffee Zilla them? initially invited all of them all to of be them. on his thing. The and series. Make it a live stream. Apparently, like, all of the, don't, that would all be the funding would go to charity or whatever. Like, interesting. Because yeah. yeah. he wanted to get their side of the story on it. Live, though, too. Yeah. You know but, what I mean? No cutting up. Yeah. That's hard to do, though, live because I feel like you need receipts and stuff. Or else it's just everyone saying their own thing. You don't know who's lying and who's yeah. not. Mm, you need yeah. some sort of receipts Bro, i guess he probably has all the receipts to back up if anyone does start lying live you know he's like if he starts lying live he could and be like well this is what you told me you know mm-hmm. a couple months ago yeah, yeah. you'd have to have points like set out yeah of thing, which one to hit that would be questions crazy. and then have some rebuttals or whatever. it would yeah. be really interesting to watch though and yeah. see to get I, everyone's side of the story mm, logan i think did say he's going to address it whether he, he does it on his own on impulsive or with coffeezilla he did say on Twitter, I think he said January, whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna be addressing. Well, yeah. with the amount of views this like these series has gotten, like you have to address it, or else it's just Dude, a bad look for you. Also, also yeah. sorry, go ahead. No, no, I know. I was saying, and he emailed him, and he showed the proof. Like Logan tweeted the screenshot of the email. Hey, uh, hey, Stephen, copies of his name is Stephen. I want you on this episode of Impulsive. So he wants to talk about it now. Did he answer know. CoffeeZilla that if he's going to go on that or not? I don't know. I don't follow him. I just follow Logan on Twitter. But he was basically showing, I guess, showing the people like, hey, I've now reached out to, to Steven CoffeeZilla. So if he wants to come on, come on. I would love to see that, though, because I know I think I think he should do it. 
Mm-hmm. Depending Definitely. on what the itinerary is on the podcast and what's going to be asked, I don't know if Logan's going to be like, "Hey, we're going to talk about this, this, and this. Let's not talk about this." I don't, I don't know, because Stephen could go on there and just absolutely lay into him. Well, I think you got to talk about that. About what on the podcast? This whole like scam thing. Well, it's going to be That's about be the, that, the but like, topic. is Logan? What does Logan want to do? Does he want to try to clear his name or go more in depth on? What's Why? on what Steven's points were because Steven's points were like, dude, you were you scammed people. Well, I think he's gonna have to like try to go off Steven's points to like clear his name, yeah, to, like get himself to look better in yeah. like, the community's eyes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but he's gonna do something. Yeah, I think, um, yeah. overall, Logan though is gonna probably hitch on to the main point of he didn't sell, which is like, yeah. Oh, I also that didn't make any a- money, and I'm I'm down X amount because I put this much in. So he's gonna definitely hitch on to that point. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's in the negative. He can't really. He is in yeah. the negative as well. He screwed. If like, he sold, he would be exactly. Definitely, oh, you got ripped apart for that. Be, yeah. yeah, definitely be a horrible hammering look. him more. But it also yeah. does help that Jeff didn't as well. Yes. So his team. His so team if you looks look at good. It, his team looks good. The yeah. bad is Ibanez. Who got a cake? He got one point seven. And fled to Switzerland. And yeah. fled to fucking. But if you think about it, dude, one hundred k is not much to hit Logan at all. Yeah, I feel like this guy's spending so much money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, so I like, mean millions though. He could have pulled. He could have dumped and got millions. No, but I just mean like. Oh, paying hundred k of investment. For, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. like using that as a point. I, 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 he was. He. I think he put like a hundred and something k. That's like, like that's like right? like hundred dollars into something. Exactly. Probably. Like yeah. for him, it's not that much to lose to for his uh, picture. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm it's excited also funny. One of the guys, one of the investors who lost money. Said he bought his 99 originals and said he wants to meet with him and said, like, look what you did to my family. Well, no, yeah. he got the that original was, that the one of the benefits was you get to you meet, meet Logan Paul. And he said, I'm what he's going to do when he sees him. He's going to be like, you've ruined my life for my Bro, family. He has, like, just tell him in person. He like, invested his money. Yeah. To to. You said he met him, though, right? No, wait, I don't no, think he has. Yet. It. I don't I think it's like in yet. the works. No, of, like, they did scheduling another it. one for the podcast. Yeah. Oh, that's the, the one that they did. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I don't think I don't think it was a part of Ninety Nine Originals. So I think it was uh, a different project, which was a meet and greet with Logan Paul. I swear it was a. Oh, I thought it was one of the Ninety Nine. I think there was a Ninety Nine. I think it was one of the Ninety Nine. And you guys spend a day with Logan Paul or something. And this guy's making bank, man. Whoever bought this, that that guy that bought the original, he just invested a lot of money. Probably he's investing like what fifty k, sixty k. I don't know how much they all went for. I hope he's at least a millionaire if he's doing that. (laughs) You know, I lost five hundred thousand on cryptos, dude. Bro, if if you're investing five hundred k, you have stupid money. Yeah, that guy, you could tell it was a little like you could tell he was up. He didn't even care. Yeah, he was not even sad. Five hundred k, but the guys. We invested like Pocket 10k change. 20k that a could little. be a lot to exactly yeah. i think the smaller like the guy that had like 7k he seems like want more the, he's the very young passionate kid, yeah, bro, faith, they have a, faith in someone like logan paul there's a pretty young kid too that he was looked not 18 it. 19 20. <laughs> yeah yeah because why wouldn't you trust logan yeah and he's that's what they creator, said yeah. it was like this guy like i've looked up to and when he says something it's like they they take that shit seriously yeah. like, he's like an a-list you can say like an a-list guy now you Dude, know and I mean? high key if they actually went through with the project like those people that were in early would have made like a pretty good chunk of money if yeah. it all at, at least worked you know for a little bit because once it <laughs> yeah once it launches though you know you are and you have an egg people are the price is going to go up and all that stuff yeah. so those the people were probably like damn like i would have actually made if it just even went through but they didn't even yeah. know there was a stealth buy so they got yeah. fucked they, they just <laughs> got fucked just, from yeah. the start <laughs> tough that's tough well, <laughs> fact it never worked they got fucked <laughs> <laughs> they just got a picture yeah. of an egg i feel bad for the bro, one guy. the worst part was the adobe stock <laughs> photos horrible dude. bro hand, hand drawn hand drawn art that was bad too. That's he a big lie. Dr- him it's lying. It's a big Huge lie. lie. Him lying, being like, we spent six months creating the dopest art, and then <laughs> CoffeeZilla literally was like, <laughs> so this took me ten five minutes to make. It's like I mean, AI, AI and Pix put together, right? Oh, yeah, dude, dude, just two like Pix merged together. Man. Dude, I thought it was so <laughs> funny how he was like, the elephant. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. And then he like did it. He, you just see the sped up of him on Photoshop, and he's like, I've done it. Yeah, it just goes <laughs> over. I've done it. <laughs> Like why? I don't terrible. I don't know why you lied about that. That like, was bad. That was. Well, he's bad. just trying to push the coin, right? Like, nah, well, it's marketing, but yeah. like, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's oh. a blatant lie. Yeah, I know. That wasn't the, the hype. product. Yeah, that exactly. Wasn't it wasn't that much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, the panda with the elephant. <laughs> that was in the hype of the whole crypto. The like, elephant boom, with like, like the gorilla yeah. kitty or something. I forgot what it was called. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> the gore kitty. The gore kitty. The gore kitty. Yeah. That's fucking. That was, and they kept going back to the clip. We spent months making this art, bro. Months. Dude, we put a million dollars of our own money into this. <laughs> and yeah. then it's just CoffeeZilla just doing it on Photoshop. I've done it. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. I it feel like the whole crypto like boom, you know, in that time, I don't, people were believing anything. And I don't, everything. It's weird. I don't remember hearing about this one though. I remember hearing about his Doink one. Wait, you didn't hear Dick about the ninety nine? But I don't remember hearing about Zoo what uh, Zoo Coin or whatever. I remember. I, was, I, think I honestly doink. thought it was gonna be a really good project. Really? But I remember that. Think doink. Yeah. I think I heard about it, but then like just I never heard anything again about it. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it never just was like, like just it was like, oh this big idea. Then he dropped like, it. He's like no nope nothing that's else not happened. It. Saw a trailer and just went dark after that. <laughs> and then yeah. the one clip of him and Aoki. Oh you start. I'm starting a new project next week. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> and he's like oh is that the one with the egg? No 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 not that one. Not definitely not that one. And then and then Cryptozilla's like or Coffeezilla is like bruh all the investors when no Logan's like no 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 not that one. Sean the hard probably like investors, bro. Like bro, their fucking heart probably dropped when they saw that. <laughs> They're like, "Oh my god." <laughs> well, I think. Oh man. Yeah, that, tough, that's that's I mean, he probably went dark because if he did, if anything was brought up about CryptoZoo during the time of his '99 original drop, would've that would have flopped. Yeah. yeah, true. So he's lucky, honestly. He made the that risk. He made the calculated did risk. Do this earlier. Because oh, his 99 originals would have been done. Nobody right. would have bought that, man. They'd be like, all right, this guy's a scam artist. That's yeah, true. But like, is that, is that stuff still working? Like, that, I know that was like some, that had some other system behind it. No, it wasn't a system. It was like, that was was fine because he had, there was no utility. Like, it was just, hey, I did these really, I made these really cool photos. That was from a, what are those things called? Uh Polaroid camera. Polaroid camera, yeah. yeah. And some of them had some benefit in terms of being on impulsive. No, but wasn't there something for the Dow or something that was something that connected to the market? Oh, yeah. That's still a thing. Yeah. yeah that the inve- like Could you sell it afterwards like for something on like, the market? If it's worth yeah. something, if right? To people, something. whatever to people. Yeah, because yeah. I know there was good physical tools from like a lot of those where it was like, pretty cool. Yeah, but he at least he was honest. Like 50% of the money was went straight to Logan. Then 50% of the money went into this original Dow thing, which is basically like a public investment for him. Yeah. Um, which I don't know if they've done anything with that. They have a shit ton of money, so mm. I don't think that they sh- wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, like, they probably got millions of dollars. I hope they did some sort of <laughs> investing already, but because didn't I don't know, somebody you gotta like, be in the group? For one that. of the originals was like I swear it was like equity to like Prime or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it was like pretty small one percent yeah. or point one percent, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, those things are easy to to like capitalize on. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like I thought it was a good project. Physical that was good originals, because I thought like I saw the TikTok videos every day when he was posting them. Like, Same. just the concept of like like his and his storytelling. It was like, pretty cool. Making pictures was really cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was simple and it had like you, some utility in terms of like benefits for. It was definitely marketed towards like upper class. Like you had to have a shit ton of money to so you know, buy these there. things. Yeah. So much. And no one's paying 150k to be on an impulsive episode unless you can really make it worth it. So yeah. that's. It, it was upper class and he just used it seems like he just kind of like fed off of his like uh rich network in that sense yeah um but i think the like the dow is cool i think dow's um will be a thing to like stay for the future it's basically like a public investment um group so you can invest little into it you know and you basically just have to trust that the person making um Actually, no, you have to trust in the group, you know, the community, because they vote on, like, what you're investing the money into. So, I think that's a cool... cool Isn't that kind of hard, though, now that this shit came out? No, it's a community-based thing. Oh, okay. So, it's it's not as long as some, as long as the person running it doesn't just take the funds and run. So, what is it, essentially a mutual fund, then? Yeah, basically. It's like a community, like, if we came together and made a DAO, you know, and and said, hey, like, viewers, you can invest in this. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we're like, hey, what should we invest in? Like, you know, these upcoming creators and take a percentage of, you know, them basically sign them or should we invest in, could be as something as like real estate. Yeah. And that goes up in value and then everyone shares it. Yeah, and then everyone, based on how much, how many tokens you have is a percentage. That's actually a pretty good concept. Yeah. Yeah. It's a public As long as it goes to... Yeah, it's like a a newer way to do like a mutual fund. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So I think that will be something to stay for the future, which is very useful, you know, because it's not very um, easily accessible, you know, unless you, you have only a lot have of original? money in no the the traditional way of like investing in mutual oh, funds, yeah. you know, it's harder to understand and it's harder to get into versus this. But yeah, there's always the risk of scam artists. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, with yeah the you're putting your you money in um, Logan Paul. Yeah. yeah. But on that wave, honestly, crypto's down. A couple big crypto CEOs are down, too. Wow. No, <laughs> down, that Damn. was dark, but yeah. I liked it. That Ooh. was uh, the three crypto CEOs died recently yep. in random fashions. Extremely sketchy. Coincidence. Very weird. Maybe. Coincidence. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 
So anyone know anything, Mac, you know, stuff on this? Uh, not too much. Like, I remember I reading, I read the one about the guy dying. He was like drowned, but then he was saying before too, how like, oh, they're coming for me and stuff to like everyone he knew. And that's pretty much the extent I know. And then I kind of just read the, the out the headline of like, oh, like two other guys died as well into that. And like within like a week or two time span, which yeah. is pretty crazy yeah. to me. It is weird. And the fact that he said that shit, like, I mean. Yeah. And Literally. it was right. I was like, crypto was going down too. So. And they said they, they covered it up kind of with the, or they allegedly covered it up with the fact that like he had mental health problems and committed suicide. But yeah. I mean, he was in like Puerto Rico. Didn't you say a guy drowned, drowned too? Yeah. He said, yeah. yeah I and then another guy, f helicopter crash. Yeah. In France. Yeah. Like the in most like, random ways to die. So random, bro. One guy passed away in his sleep. <laughs> What's yeah. going on here? In his sleep. Yeah. I don't and know. These are like crypto million billionaires. Billionaires, bro. bro. And they're younger, right? Too. Like yeah. they're not old. Yeah. I mean, they're I not one guys was, to die in their sleep. I think the oldest was like in his 50s. 53, yeah. 30, and 29. So I mean, and the the one that passed away in his sleep wasn't the fifty three year old, it was the thirty year old, which is sketch on its own. Like the fifty three year old, like OD'd or something. The fifty three like, year old that maybe could make sense depending on how his health is, but the thirty year old, there was no signs no of anything wrong with his health. Yeah. The guy with the mental, they were blaming he on was, mental he health was the issues. Twenty nine, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. his family and friends were like he was fine. Like they didn't have any signs of it. Um, so there's a lot of red flags right now definitely going on and mm -mm. you know what's going on with these crypto billionaires <laughs> yeah these higher ups allegedly you know this big conspiracy theory of every all these secret people wanting to secret societies, secret societies. Crypto, yeah i definitely think it's inside jobs going on here to get rid of i like what do you guys think i think that's too sketch i, I think it's I way agree. too coincidental i also yeah. do too it's yeah. weird timing man three back to back to back like that and one guy was predicting the, and literally saying they were coming after exactly. me. And it was right when FTX was like falling apart too. Same time. So like it's just really weird coincidence. I think some, some definitely some foul play in all those. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think even just after watching, you know, there was a show I'm on, on Netflix. Obviously, it's Fabricated. not a real show. Yeah. But what's the show? Um, it's called The Recruit. So it's basically this guy that like out of law school joins the CIA and... Um, there's a lot of like internal politics in the CIA where you got to be connected with the right people. Um, you can't obviously like leak secret information or even know of, if you know of secret information, they'll come after you. Yeah. Right. Shit, so, shit. Classified. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you have any even remote, if you even don't even plan on leaking this information, you just know of it. Like you're, you're a target. You're a target. You're mm -hmm. literally a target. Yeah. So he's Scary. been basically like not say. only running from his own CIA, but like can't, like some are on his side, some are not, but you don't know. That's what I'm gonna say. And like, he's brand the, new, so he doesn't know any of these politics. What is the reason things. for these guys to die? Almost too. What kind is of, the reason? Yeah, I so think, think the reason is like they don't want crypto to take over because it is a, like a decentralized like thing where these guys were all whales, they don't have power like over in the crypto market. Yeah, they're right? huge billionaires. They're billionaires. like millionaire billionaires kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Some and of the biggest guys. I'm obviously, sure. money runs the world, yeah. and if they don't have control or power over that money, then they don't Get run rid the of world. So yeah, they want to keep their power. Also, really sketchy, like a parent drown. Then you have the helicopter, the crash, and the sleep. Like it's not like anyone died from you know Do blah, blah, cancer this money? or anything. What happens to it? Yeah, I don't, like, know. I don't know. It might just be in his crypto account. They got wills, <laughs> yeah, it's his physical gone. key, or maybe his physical key, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, if he's the only one that knows it, it's gone. Exactly. That's, yeah, that's true. Unless it's in their will. Yeah, Probably but if, not. if you don't have like the passwords yeah. or passcodes to any of this, then like you literally need the passcode. Yeah, but usually the pass people like this have teams that like also manage their cryptos. I'm pretty sure it's not just one guy when you have so much money. It could be like some this crypto is just so easy. It was so easy to become a billionaire, you know, and it was it's they want to so like, give easy. the hands to share it, right? Yeah, it, it, you could have a billion dollars on this I know. little like <laughs> yeah, chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So wild, you don't bro. need a it's team fucked, to control eh? that fucked. or invest in. No, it, just know? to make sure it's safe, though. You know what I mean? Some people like like when you're transferring. I swear there's possibilities of getting hacked when you're doing it with so much money because these people know how to track who's transferring a, a certain amount yeah you know what i mean yeah i don't know the. i remember when they were bidding for logan paul thing they were talking about how if he transfers money he has a risk of getting hacked hmm. yeah if logan? They have, they have, no uh it was one of the guys bidding on his oh, okay. nft i would think that's more yeah that would you know be I mean? more so of like the exchanges you know maybe. your exchange yeah yeah maybe that's true for those crypto hacked. yeah if it's on like a, a cold wallet yeah. there's no chance of that being hacked yeah um 
I mean, there probably is a chance, but very I think it's slim, like very, very slim. slim. Like it's yeah. very, it's one of the most secure. Things. Yeah, only if you're transferring. That's what I meant. Only if you're transferring or yeah. something to like intercept it. Yeah, like if you're a millionaire, you're definitely not fucking having yeah. that in an exchange. You're putting that on a little thing. Yeah, yeah. but that's also risky, isn't it? Not risky, but like, isn't that kind of weird to if have? You like, lose it and it's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like you're keeping fun. it in a lot in a no, safe. No, you something. lock that yeah in yeah. a safe in like, a hidden safe in your like bedroom like or some shit like that or office. Yeah. And you need to it's also crazy. remember a password to unlock it. And it's not just like a password. It's like a phrase. Yeah. So you need to and have it like, knows it by your voice only or something. Yeah. No, you have to have it like they <laughs> tell you when you're when you're signing up because I have one of these. It's a, the ledger cold wallet. And they say like write this down on either a physical piece of paper. Actually, no, they give you a piece of paper to write <laughs> it down with. Really? And then you should also keep it like somewhere else. As Isn't well. it similar to like how MetaMask does it with the yeah. phrase? MetaMask yeah. phrase. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Jake Paul signs in the <laughs> NFL. Yeah. That was a pretty funny. Bro, was, yeah. that, was, was that legit? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Was, he signed with the Cleveland Browns. I thought it was yeah. like a joke. Slot receiver. Like, so it is a joke though. It's no, he's playing it's the last joke. game of the week. It's a joke. Yeah, but what? Oh. Is he just like <laughs> trying to bring some like promotion to the Browns? Yeah, it was just like a collab with like the Cleveland like, Browns and Jake Paul. Yeah. Yeah. So he definitely got paid right? though. He definitely yeah. made it, signed a contract of some sort, right? Yeah. He did like an appearance at the game. So I would assume it was just kind of like. A little quick brand deal, like a promotion, a promo promoter. Yeah, he did like a, a, it. Was a collab post, right, on Instagram? There was two collab posts. Yeah, so two collab posts. Definitely just like a brand deal. Pretty fun. Pretty sick though. It was funny. It is different. It's different. Pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Right. What do you think about it, Mac? I know you have like a. No, nah, I mean, like <laughs> you I, don't like it. Do you? I, no, I, I knew what it is. It makes sense, like yeah, money yeah. wise. Like Cleveland's had a bad year. Like why not try to spice? <laughs> Get some eyes they, on they it. Have. Get some why, eyes on it. Why us. not like try to spice it up a bit? Like did, okay. I understand it, but like the whole like oh signing with the Browns, like make and with the jersey, like yo, did he have it's a, a little jersey? corny shirt? I could see them selling a jersey with Jake Paul on it. They had a jersey. They had a jersey. No, I yeah. saw the jersey. That was like, did, were they selling one though? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't. Think I don't you, think anyone would really buy that. Like little kids. <laughs> Some the little comments kids were tough on the post. What were they yeah. saying? What were they? Common Browns L. What we don't want him return this. Yeah. Delete this. Yeah, that it makes was just sense. common. Like, Damn. bro, let's be real, man. Like, Jake Paul. Like, people don't like Jake Paul in the sports world like that. So, I like, think so. Yeah. It's not like it's a good play for like having the younger kids come up and like yep. see it and like get eyes on the on an NFL. But yeah. like the actual fan base of the NFL. Probably doesn't like Jake Paul. Maybe, majority jo- of them maybe he's trying to push into that older demographic. It was the same thing with the Josh Richards <laughs> Amazon Prime announcement <laughs> post when he was going to the first like Kansas City g- Thursday night game in like week one September, and people were commenting, "Who the fuck is this guy? What yeah. the fuck yeah. is it?" Like he was getting Josh Richards getting ripped, which I feel bad for. Literally not his audience, so I understand. Get a football guy there, maybe you know, like a- potentially. Yeah, he could do that. <laughs> yeah. And then Jake Paul, you know, just people just hate him for being who he is, so he was getting obliterated on that post yeah, but it was cool i thought it was cool spectrum you know what yeah. I, mean? I thought it was cool and funny how they made it like a joke i thought it was funny <laughs> no it is yeah I, I do like it yeah i thought you were i definitely it, was not yeah no like it's just a, mar- it's a marketing ploy like yeah. it makes sense do you, you think are. people hated it because of the fact that um like they suck this year like if it was with like let's say the bills or the chiefs it would have been like more of a i think they still would have uh-huh, called it that's an funny. L. i think they still would have called know? it an L. i think it's just the person yeah yeah it's i think it's just the person because you're not now you're like really bad <laughs> kicking a team while they're down it's I like you're making fun <laughs> of a you know an influencer signing with a team and they already suck i think those people kind of people oh. already have those feelings towards jake you know what i mean like they don't like him they so don't they're like just him like you know regardless. what regardless literally common l it just matches yeah <laughs> like one guy was like i'm a browns fan i'm a browns fan and this is another L. Like it was like, it was like <laughs> they yeah. were taking so that's what i'm saying like they're already pissed about the season you know nah. they that but the Browns like, fan embraced that shit though. Like, look at all the uh, Deshaun Watson jokes when they like he came back. True. <laughs> like, he's, I, I don't think they care. They yeah. thought he was going to be good though. They're like, well, oh, he was my a top, savior. He was a top five quarterback, but he hasn't played in two years. Wait, yeah. is he not good? I figured he was going to be he's shit. Been, he's having a bad year. Bad year. But he's also on a new team, right? Yeah. And he hasn't played in two years. Yeah. yeah. Like, if the Bills did this, being the Bills, I think right they still would have been. An there would have been people that have been like, we don't need him. What the fuck is this? I think it's just a different angle you look at it at. Yeah. You know what I mean? The Browns still suck, so it's like make fun of ourselves and this. But if you're a Bills fan, we're winning. What the fuck is this? We don't need this. I think all the NFLs are in a collective joint against. Yeah. Jen- it's <laughs> also tough though, like because if you look at it from a marketing standpoint, like you want new eyes. But the eyes that are already on one thing have that mindset. So it's like you can try to bring new eyes to any market. You know what I mean? But a fan of the NFL is a fan of the NFL. Very typical. You kind of know what you're getting to a certain extent. So they're going to see a collab with Jake Paul. And of course, they're going to hate it because that's that's the demographic. They used to their football there, Sunday. You know what I mean? There you go. And now they're getting this Jake Paul. They don't understand. <laughs> like They don't honestly understand that he is bringing a new demographic and audience. Yeah, but they don't care about that. 
who doesn't yeah the fans don't okay, yeah. but the cleveland browns like if i'm on that marketing team i wouldn't necessarily look at that and be like this is we're getting ripped on here you know what i mean i wouldn't I even though in that it, case it's good press is bad press is good press in yes, that case because like it's just it's just hate comments like no one's yeah. actually going to be like i'm not a cl- fan of the cleveland browns because they yeah. did this yeah so they it caused some like talk which was what the, they wanted what they wanted are yeah. there little kids probably watching football though probably not yeah, but they're trying yeah, to get that younger. demographic now. To like, start a watch. I don't know if you guys uh, saw the Rams versus the Broncos game. The Nickelodeon they, thing, they did bro. The Nickelodeon game. Like the they're slime? they're really trying what does to that get. Mean? I didn't even. You I know, know Nickelodeon, the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they basically just had a Nickelodeon theme game where they had like animations <laughs> pop up on the screen. Dude, oh, I love they the, had, like, Yeti. the slime. The Yeti. The slime. Like, they had funny. Like, they had was fucking, it like just cringe or like what? Like it was like so cringe. It was very like for kids. If if you're an NFL fan, that you're probably watching that game. Like I'd probably turn it off. I Bro. didn't. I didn't watch the game. I just saw stuff on social media. Afterwards. It made you want to turn it off. Like like away. if I was watching the game, I'd probably be like, "Fuck, dude, this. I'm like a fucking 24 year old guy. I'm not trying to watch like Nickelodeon slime SpongeBob. It's very much for the kids. I like. I, I understand why they're doing it. I liked how Romo reacted. I'm like, I'm about to get slimed yeah. on. And then they would just slime. Bro, and the <laughs> do you guys see the MVP award? No. no. So like it's like I don't even know what it stands for. Nickelodeon Valuable Player or whatever. It's probably what oh, it stands the for. Oh, the Yeah. And so they gave it to Baker Mayfield. And like the p- reporter's like, so how does this stack up to other awards you've won in your life? And this guy's won the Heisman Trophy. Probably like the best like individual award you could win <laughs> for sports. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, you know, it's it's up there for sure. Like, it's just, just kidding. It's a great, like, he has, I just he, feel like you can't. A very PR answer of saying like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just like smart. Not cool. Whatever. Smart. Yeah. I feel like uh, it's very, you can't cater to everyone. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But they are trying yeah, to. Yeah, that's exactly it. You will never be able to cater to everyone. But they're trying to. You but know you're what trying I mean? to exactly. I think that's just too much of like catering exactly. to like the that kids. You already have athletes. such a loyal and fault. Like, yeah, that was like below high school. That was like elementary. Oh, we're talking like, like, yeah. like <laughs> five year olds, bro. Yeah, I don't know why they're going for that route because like, no five year olds watching <laughs> football like that. I saw them pit, like use the claw and pick up Baker Mayfield <laughs> yeah. and then use an animation of him <laughs> and like throw him out the f- arena. <laughs> and then another one was like the Yeti jumped onto the field, then jumped. Into the stands and then out of the arena. I'm like, like this is has absolutely nothing to do with football. It's yeah. just random animation. Bro, I love when Robo gets. Slammed what would have been funny is if they did like if they had like um like someone doing like a touchdown run, you know, and then they had like a character come and just like clothesline them or something, <laughs> like a little bit more raunchy Nickelodeon like kind funny, of funny, yeah. Yeah. yeah, not just like completely random because it made no sense, like. They no. just picked up Baker and moved him like somewhere else. Like it was just sweet. not needed, right? Yeah, yeah just yeah. not. Needed. Yeah, they're just trying to add shit where they. They really didn't think through of these <laughs> animation. They slimed a little baby in the crowd. <laughs> Wait, what? Like the animation? Oh, animation. Okay, dude. Like, you know how they, they meant, you know how they used to put slime? No, on yeah, the... yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just like the animation. Like there's little babies in there, and they just slimed, slimed the baby. them. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's slime. like what the hell? That's man. too weird. It's pretty it, cool it that they weird. could do that in real time. Yeah, it, it was pretty. It, sick. No, it, it was it, pretty. Cool. Definitely cool the animations, yeah. but, but like, I feel like it'd be used for better slime yeah. purposes. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I see where they're coming from, but like, I just don't think they did it well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to start somewhere, I guess. For mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Do you for think sh- that there is a day where an influencer plays a game or a snap in the NFL? Never. I don't see it. It's too much money on the line. Never. Too much money, like to. On There's games. one guy. I can see destroying. Getting doing one thing. Yeah, but I I don't like he he started off as an actual football player. Mm-hmm. So I like he came up as a football player and then now is an influencer. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just saying yeah, the that one is, influencer that I could think of that it could work to the point where you could use it as PR for like an influencer taking first ever influencer to take a snap in the NFL. Do you know what I'm saying? That would be the only guy. I don't that think I, think I don't see a do team. It. It's like a team like. Handicapping themselves. Yeah. Like, you don't need to. Yeah, he almost need like to risking losing the game. You can just, just have him the on the bench. No. You know what I mean? Like you can have him as a third string. I only see like snap. low there's teams no, there's no doing point that. Maybe. Like there. if you're in last no place, then you might do it. Yeah. In the four yeah, major I sports, I don't think it'll doing. ever happen in the four major sports. Yeah. Because like when you have like, let's say like Jake Paul, like if he actually signed for the Browns, they signed him to like a slot receiver or to be a receiver contract. Like what good does that do for you? Like, no, like his fans are going to like what want him to see him on the bench because like if they play him it's going to be a joke that's like it's no longer only screen time sport. you can do is show him on the side exactly like that's <laughs> the only screen time like if you actually put him in there people who actually go to the games and are care about it will be like why am I watching a guy who's a regular dude play in the NFL because he's going to get killed yeah. yeah I think now that affects <laughs> the line of like competitive sports yes and in and the influencer role exactly. like, I think you got to find that that good fine line which I think with this Cleveland Browns and Jake Paul thing having him come out you know, even interacting with the players, like giving him going on some of the social medias with the players on the sidelines, even if he had a segment, you know, if he was talking to players at halftime or something like that would be cool. You know what I mean? Like 
but not I, playing I, the I sport. Agree. I think yeah, that's make it a little more effect. funny. Be funny Comical. with the interviews or something. Yeah, like Jake's a good personality. Like yeah, at the end of the day, I think or going, like a uh, halftime, like entertainment. Like he could be like he doing can have a segment. There, yeah. yeah, I think he can have a segment. That would that be would, better. That would be cool, and people would be like, "Oh my god, that's Jake Paul." You know what I mean? I'm, I if I'm a fan of Jake Paul, I get to see him talking with Tyree Kill and asking him cool questions like, "Yo, if you get a touchdown this next half, what's the celly?" And then he does a celly that him and Jake do, and if he actually does it, that would be funny. You know yeah. what I mean? That's how. That's how you combine, I think, best of both worlds. But playing, I think, is now we're just affecting like. I, I agree. Now we're affecting actual jobs of like an actual slot receiver. Well, you're just taking is, away like, like the, the host, professionality you know those, of the yeah, sport. I think so you too. You know those people who go around in the crowd and do uh, get them to do ask some questions and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would like to see like more celebrity games. That would be cool. Like how the NBA does it for theirs. Well, they do that for actually. The yeah, I like that. Cause that's, um, that's really good. Like, but that's Archie like a there. tradition, like once a, or once a couple times a year, right? Well, yeah, but like that. how much do you want to see it, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You know what I mean? They've done it NFL for the past few years, an NFL celebrity game. Really? They? Influencer game. Bryce Hall was in it. Josh Richards was in it. It's just not wait, Mark. What, I don't think wait, it was televised. They wait, they actually played a game. MLB's done it. NFL's yeah, done when it. Did this game happen? Um, I know the MLB done it. I don't think NFL's done this. NFL's done it. Who was in it? Like what? A flag football game? Uh, it was football, I'm pretty sure. Or it might have been two hands. I think it might have been like a skills challenge or something. Was this during Pro Bowl weekend? This was during. So. It was sometime in the summer. I don't remember seeing one thing about it. I heard about I the remember first Noah one Beck two summers was in ago. Are yeah, you sure it was something. NFL? Because I know MLB did a big Some one. Some players where, like, were there. Noah Beck was in there. Jalen Ramsey was in it. There, it was similar to the MLB one. It was super similar to the MLB one, where it was just like chill. Well, I think that that's that. Like, if it was in the summertime, that's at a point where people like are kind of like not really watching football. I yeah. want to say it was around June is when the NFL one was. I honestly have I never think, seen yeah. anything about I that. I think it was completely random. I don't. It think was, it was like a. I don't think it was a full game either. Like, was it a flag football? And I game? also, I also want people to be good. You know, like, well, I don't think you should be bringing out people just to bring them out you know like just because they're famous but just because they're just famous the yeah, yeah like i think it needs to have some sort of co competition involved in it as well and like you that, need to actually have played that's football what will draw or something people. yeah i think mm -hmm. people a lot of people are honestly stopping not caring much about the nba all-star game too now because these players aren't even p trying like the game's like 200 to like 190 <laughs> yeah even just the nba all-star game so i think Doing that, doing a celebrity game still needs to have some sort of competition aspect involved. Like it can't Make it be a little like, interesting, you know, like going back and forth, missing like a layup. Yeah. yeah That's yeah, not yeah, being yeah. able to like throw the well, ball. Why do you think no one's going to watch? Basketball is not as watched as NBA. Because it's just not good. Not good. That's, a, that's another, the best in the world. That's another problem exactly. though, is like at the end of the day, they're influencers, not athletes. But you could find enough that, you know, had at least some sort of past in basketball, some sort of past in football. Athletic. Yeah, I mean, you can try to get a team, but now you're reaching the point where these guys don't have pull as the other guys. Now we're at a whole other like debate now. Now where it's like this isn't a social media game. If I can't even name half the roster, well, if they can't they even have 50K run on basketball or throw or catch the ball, there's no point of them playing. Like sometimes you see, there's that, no point if they don't have like, an look audience. At the social, no, but look at their social is. gloves and like the the boxing events. Like yeah. Chase Demar, he might have a following, but he like who wants to watch him fight? Yeah, but boxing's a lot different because like people are entertained by human like combatants. It's always been in history. But, like, people aren't entertained by people who are shit at basketball or yeah. shit at uh, that's what football. I mean. Like, nobody wants to see somebody brick 20, <laughs> 20 shots in a row. Exactly. But, like, you can watch somebody flail their arms and fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, that's true. It's still somewhat entertaining, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's still the, yeah, that's actually the true potential with fighting. of, like, you landing one. Somebody could get knocked out, exactly. And yeah. I think you can see that from, like, rough and rowdy. Like, these guys don't know what they're, majority don't know what they're doing. It's <laughs> yeah. just, like, get in there and fucking wail, dude. That shit's entertaining, though, man. So funny, dude. Yeah. So, I, so think, funny. I would think using someone with some less audience... And also, I think Charlie D'Amelio's fans are not going to want to watch her play basketball or football. Yeah. Like, I would rather have destroying yeah. play in the game versus Charlie yep. D'Amelio. Yep. And he has a solid following. 5% of her following. For what? Like a basketball, charity basketball? For game? basketball or football. Or football yeah. Yeah. I like, think he I, I think taking someone with less followers that is more of their niche is better than taking someone that has a lot of followers that no one cares if. Well, those, yeah, because their followers are going to actually watch it. Yeah, exactly. Even Bryce Hall, bro. Like, I don't think his fault, like, maybe now because he's getting more of a male audience, but previously, I don't think someone's, the girls are going to want to watch true. him play football. No. Yeah, that's true. No. I mean, even football, though, like, it's hard to do. Yeah. Like, bringing these, like, professional influencers because, like, even during the Pro Bowl weekend is probably the best time to do it because that's when, like, the most eyes are, all the All-Stars yeah. are there. But, like, they still play at, like, a tackle-ish game. It's not like it's flag football. Yeah. So like Football's really also very have, like, different. You have very forward. specific specific positions, right? Like yeah. you yeah. have like two popular positions, like a wide yeah. receiver. It has to be a flag football tournament of some sort for yeah. them to actually like two, do yeah. it. Football's a little yeah. True. Like in basketball, you can just play a bunch of five guys who just run around, run around, yeah. and just go nuts. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. 
but I'm sure you could still find like some of those guys that were like have a following from college, you know, that didn't make it to the yeah. NFL. Yeah. Have those guys out there balance the team out that way and then throw in like those influencers that have some sort of background in sports and can actually play versus just throwing in the best biggest people yeah i'm I'm curious how the pull of that baseball game was because i know there was a lot of big influencers that that game i'm I'm curious baseball did a big one and there's a bunch of like the biggest like tiktok huge youtubers i'm curious what the pull of that game was and how the viewership i think that was actually decent competition too for the sure? baseball because like, it, it was like, like it was just random creators like Noel Beck was there I think like Richards Richards was Blake there Gray, Steve Aoki yeah. they had some yeah, they but had, I, uh, I feel like those guys can definitely swing a bat you know catch a ball it's true yeah I don't know no like, I, I don't Beck is at least he's a baseball is also player. I wouldn't say um, like uh like football you just got to get up there and swing you yeah, know yeah. it's not yeah, like it, as like it's one of the hardest things to do in sports so baseball's harder to swing a baseball bat Time but football? yeah, but there, I you think don't it's have, easier like, to swing a bat. There's only one person. Were they good pitchers? Yeah, well, that's true. I have no idea. I didn't watch it. I feel like it. pitching is hard, too. To me, that doesn't If you don't play baseball. You only I'm need one guy that shit. pitched, though. That's yeah. the way I look that's at right. it. Yeah. It's only one guy. You can have a guy stand in left field, and you won't even see anything all game. Yeah. I you would could, love you to do hockey, people. bro. Yeah. It'd be tough to do hockey, though. That's hard. I think that could be done, for sure. It's There's not enough creators. You don't need that many people, though. Yeah, you for a whole team? You need 12. What do you mean? You could have, like, two lines. Yeah. You don't even have to have a full five on five. I think three on three is more. You than You could enough. definitely find it. There's enough like Canadians and uh, North American type like. I don't yeah. think it creators. draws enough, bi- like a big enough pull though. I do too. Because like, who's the biggest like creator that's Canadian? No, no. It'll be Nelk. Who's second? Did you say maybe like Wolfie? He's got like five. Always hockey. Wolf, like maybe Kurt. Pavel Barber. Yeah, but he doesn't Barber's even make videos Canadian. anymore. He doesn't Nasher. make videos. Nasher. Nasher. Pavel even, Barber. Like, he wouldn't play hockey. Yeah, no, I'm just hockey. saying Canadian yeah. creators. Like, there's just not that many yeah. Canadian. Like, wait, why do you need Canadian creators? You just need people. No, he's whatever. just thinking about people who no, play hockey. Like creators, yeah. People hockey who play guys. hockey. I think we could easily Nelk hockey guys. Always hockey. Us, Pavel Barber, Nasher. That would all those people would draw a big decent crowd. Ah, uh, but you look at the reach of like that compared to the reach of like that All Star game. Like the follower to followers would just be absolutely killed. Like they have way more. Oh, for sure. Like, but it's also such hockey a small, in general it's is a less small watched. niche market like the hockey market. Yeah, but yeah. I think that's less watched. I think for any, the NHL itself, that would be a pretty good pull. Yeah. Also, the NHL, if you think about it, NHL is the one to not do that. Well, didn't they already uh, incorporate uh, Zach Always Hockey into there? He is. He's in, going uh, to like Anaheim. Game? Dude, he's going to He's doing intermissions at no, Anaheim. Didn't Ducks he do the All Star game last year? He was part of yeah, it. Yeah, and he was there. He'll be again this year. Yeah, like yeah. he he's a good face for. And like, they tried so doing like a, a bigger production and in, in, and introducing some like influencers. For example, always hockey yeah. with the va- with it being in Vegas last year. They mm-hmm. did it in the Bellagio. It was pretty sick. Um, fountain. Yeah, yeah. yeah mercy so uh, I think they're definitely opening it up for that. And even the, that would be really cool to even be. The, I mean, it could be maybe like a winter classic thing. It could be an all-star or thinking. during a winter classic yeah. outdoor three-on-three game. If they want to the start day one, before, mm-hmm. they yeah. should also start one because I'm pretty sure it's the only major league that didn't have an influencer game was it's, the NHL. It's just tough to market it because like you're in equipment and it's hard to like know who's tough. new. Yeah, it is like, tough. Who's who. Yeah, three-on-three though, you don't need equipment. Yeah, if you're, if you're just going like that, yeah. you, could, you could play it off as that. Yeah. That would be fun. Like yeah. soccer, actually, I don't think you market it as if it's like a pond kind of three yeah. on three game. Well, the soccer did the Sidemen has their Sidemen one, which is but that's like only just spe- even that specifically YouTubers. Yeah, I think there's not like one specific soccer league though, unless yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. MLS. I think just soccer doesn't need it. They're just so yeah, big. they don't need it. Yeah, it's they're pretty too big for it. Yeah, yeah. Even and you have international. You have so much shit going on yeah. with that. Yeah. They they don't really have time to yeah. go and do this all star. I guess it's a long season. Yeah, it's already MLS actually has all star, but that's about it. There's no all star break, right? For like no, you're, that's, that's, that's why I think it, it makes it tough because MLS like, is the only one that has like yeah. a uh, all star weekend. Yeah, whereas there like was, all these other sports have that all star break, is which is the perfect time to. It's only it. the American leagues, I guess, that do it. I definitely think I can see in the future, like two to three years from now, there being an NHL influencer game and us being in it. I can definitely see it. Be, it'd be sick. Yeah. I can. See I would it love happen. to do it for the next Winter Classic. That would be sick. And that I definitely think so it is cool. like it's something they need to incorporate. And also Richards is a part of, you know, he works for the NHL now. Get that hockey guy. He would be eyes. in it. The hockey, the, guys. the hockey guys work directly just with the all NHL. Their viewers, yeah. I mean, they've been they, at, they go on trips and bro, stuff. They've right? been to NHL. It's just something more they to work, watch. Like directly like with yeah. the NHL. More entertaining. You know what I mean? Different. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That's one thing that you do to like market the game better too because it's a dying game, I'd say. Also the bench guys. The, the two, At least in uh, Canada. What's the yeah. bench guys The on the bench? The two brothers on, on the, the bench. bench. What's Bro, the... Barstool. Spitting Chicklets. Yeah. They oh. could have a team too. Dude, they could do their own thing. <laughs> Spitting Chicklets is massive. Yeah. yeah, they could do their own nah, thing. I, yeah, Nelk's bigger. Nelk's, so I no, don't Nelk's think, bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think like they could do... 
Like, like I feel like the NHL is the top. Yeah. You know, like they, anyone doing something with the NHL, you're not going to be like, oh, I could just do it myself. Like true. The fair. NHL already has like, of course, TV yeah. rights, everything. Like they're going to run it through. Them. Especially too, if you grew up playing hockey, like working yeah. with the NHL is like always a dream for anybody. That'd be yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 That'd be sick. Nice. The Winter Classic three on three tournament. I could see that happening. Would you want to do Winter Classic or would you want to do it during the All Star break though? I, I would like, be I would be open to both. Well, obviously both is better, but like I feel like the All Star break would get more eyes than the Winter Classic game. <sighs> yes, uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's also more. But known, now right? you're like on an indoor ice like surface, like you got to be fully suited up. I think Winter Classic is easier just to be like act as if like just skates and sticks. It's more a little fun. Yeah. Fun factor too. You don't it. need someone to be fully like clothed, up, like full on it. dressed. It's more open. I was more laid back. Like outdoor the outdoor 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 ODR vibes. vibes. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. now yeah, you yeah. need these influencers, one that could potentially not have played hockey in years, to be fully suited up. Like, sure. I have my stuff, but I don't think like. Dude, but how funny would be like if you went full gear checking with like influencers and stuff? Oh, oh checking. Like, checking. That would be fucked. You need That'd people to be real. You, you need bro. them to play like. Bro, then Biz and Biz and Wit are just gonna dominate, bro. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about Wit. What's kind of washed? Yeah. I think like, we like big bodies. Eh? <laughs> we, then you're full. Like then the difference in skill level yeah. really changes. Yeah, I also sure. think exactly. three funny, on three. Like always, hockey starts doing his twirls and gets lit up. Like, that'd be <laughs> no. pretty funny. No. <laughs> it would be entertaining, man. <laughs> Yo, what if this just drops? We rock him at center ice. Yeah. Just fucking clocks him. Like he picks up the puck and starts spinning around. Just gets. <laughs> Also, oh, I'm not doing that. Another again. <laughs> thing. Also, another thing would be now you're looking at liability wise. Yeah, you know what I mean? Once yeah. you include checking, now you gotta now sign some shit. Now we're looking at waivers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now yeah. we're looking at like we just we just gave a kid a major no, concussion. Now the skill at level event, changes a lot. And now you're never having another <laughs> NHL influencer event. Yeah. So now it completely screws them. Or if you do ODR, keep it three on three, more chill, laid back. That's also where you can get like always hockey showcasing his moves. That's essentially what you want. That's also yeah. like, you want all these guys to showcase. Ship went them. from like playing decent to like now he's like no, shy dust. and just passing the puck right away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm fucking like shit in my pants, you know. Like, no, just puck, just puck, bro. Go no, my bad, bro. My bad. I don't need the puck. No, yeah. I mean, there's definitely minimal people that would thrive in like a full physical contact. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, just the older NHL guys. players would thrive. Just the yeah. NHL guys. I feel like yeah. you do well in you, it. Though. I think body, I'd be able to stand up for myself yeah. there, but I mean, Biz is definitely taking me on in wit for yeah. sure. Yeah. But the other but I think are, I'd be probably like the third best. Yeah, but the other you other guys are not coming to hit you. Who else is there? No, uh, no always gonna. hockey There's plays high be, level, so I think he would be like, always hockey could compete. Nasher, yeah, not, well, yeah we play, we play against him. He's like a gamer. No, Nasher, he's pretty he plays, good. He plays well, like, uh, I'd, ball I'd say hockey you're better though, all the time. Yeah. No, he's well, in the league. Well, he plays. He still plays. Other like than that, dude, like I think no, well, there'd be another better. probably former NHL like influencer kind of. Oh, player, okay. I feel like, I feel like yeah. Barber could definitely also take. Oh, Barber for sure. Barber, yeah. Barber would rip that Barber's up for sure. Good. Even full con, full yeah, things. full contact. Yeah, hockey guys. There a couple. Oh, and the hockey, hockey guys. guys are D three players. Yeah. Better than Lost to McDonald was D one at Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. they're better. It'd be a fun time though. Yeah, forgot about the hockey guys. Yeah, they would destroy. Actually, they're definitely better. They would kill. I think they won. They won a Spit and Chicklets cup. Yeah, they would win. They've literally won a tournament. <laughs> As a team, they would 100% win. They would dominate. Yeah, because Biz and Wit are not yeah. caring. I'm curious how our team would stack up to this. We would be definitely mid pack. Very mid. Very, very mid. If it's gotta just us four, very you got to recruit. Yeah. We, uh, we definitely have best pro. Um, does the we hockey guys have a goalie? Yeah. yeah, but Wiz, oh. like the, the spin checklist guys would definitely recruit somebody fucking like. Well, you gotta recruit NHL. a whole team. Oh, if team. we're recruiting, then we could definitely put up a fight. Well, you would have, like, it's yeah, three, three, three on three. three, three, three if, we could, if we could recruit boards, bro, and we can recruit actual. Now, here's the yeah. thing. Now, you gotta, like, if we're getting an NHL guy, now oh, everyone gets an NHL guy. <laughs> Nell could get Nell Matthews. Austin Matthews. Yeah, so no, now it's like, dude. Well, I mean, yeah. I think pulling out, like, a couple of the boys from the hometown, because, like, I don't think NHL guys Steph doesn't play hockey, so. Yeah. Now, here's just logistics on, like, how would you get a a team how many what's the max players you it's can gotta have just in. it's gotta just be stick and puck yeah it has stick to and be. skates literally has to be yeah. just because yeah. yeah not that serious yeah know? yeah <laughs> maybe, maybe pitch us to the nhl see what happens with it yeah wait what oh pitch, pitch it to the nhl yeah yeah i'm dude i'm down i think it's definitely i think it's definitely a possibility for next year yeah i think so too a year one year away i think so too one year away because the all-star breaks what this weekend right or and with the, with the right list have, yeah with the right with list the of people have and yeah, that too. Hockey guys works directly yeah. with the NHL. Like yeah. they have been to their headquarters, have done collab shit with the NHL. Like that would be who pitches it. We can give the list, break it down and be like, yo, talk to your people. Maybe we can get a call with everyone. I will say, 
say the ODR though is nice vibe for this. It's yeah. also chill, fun. You can have people. It's just on the nice when you're doing... outside. You know what I mean for this kind of event. Yeah, and, and you, you can also have... fit more people in there too. Way more, and you can yeah. have stands for sponsors if you really want to get creative with sponsors. Yeah, you could also do because it is like an outdoor vibe. You could do some sort of like meet and greet with fans and yep. stuff. You yeah, can have people sell tickets now field, to come. Usually, yeah, and not have to, and not force people to you know be in the stands because in a regular yeah. hockey arena it's very segregated yeah like it's the ice like, and the bench versus yeah. the stands versus exactly if you did it yep. on an outdoor field like you have so much room or or, whatever. or baseball you yeah. can have people actually on the ground yeah like standing area there and yeah. like in between game like you get interactive too when you're playing mm -hmm. that's also how you can make money for the nhl if you do it ticket based yeah so now creators are all promoting their own link buying tickets for like a meet and greet as well yeah mm -hmm. which makes sense yeah, you do a whole day event with that. Yeah, it's like a whole day event the day before the winter classic. It's like that. You can sell like certain tier, you tier of tickets. Building where you this can event be right in now. Dressing room. <laughs> I'm just yeah, hoping the right yeah. person is or not the right person just takes this idea and fucking runs and they do it like in like three months. We're like, fuck. I mean, well, they I gotta get the in the space where they invite us if they do do that. Yeah, <laughs> give us credit for the event. Not do an annual event without you know. <laughs> Yo, uh, I was dude, I was thinking uh, that too. Uh, that's low key. I was thinking that too. Uh, that low funny. blow. That's All a low right. blow from Chad. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I think um, that was funny. That's definitely a possibility. Yeah, especially with AI around the corner. Who, who knows what would happen? Whoa. You just maybe type in, and it's like it happens. Could be. <laughs> How do you make a good <laughs> ODR event? Steph, yeah. Have you been fiddling around with AI? No, you said uh, you made a project. Yep. What'd you do with it? Dude, ChatGPT. Yeah, fucking clutch. What'd you do with it? I tested it out. So back in the day, when I was first learning coding, yep. me and Chip, my boy, we were partners for our CBT big project for the school. We made tic tac toe. You made it. I fucking <laughs> I source coded it, but you fucking made it. You beat. Yeah, so that was fun. We did good on that. So yeah. I was like, you know, that's that's just something that reminded me. And you told me it could code. This program could code. Yeah, so I was project. like, um, t show me how to or code me a program for tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. And it did it. And it did it multiple times. But only thing, it kept crashing. I think it was when um high uh, capacity on the website, so it kept crashing. But mm -hmm. eventually, I got one game. I copied it. Copy the code. I ran it, and it actually worked. You wow. want to know a little trick for that? Yeah. Add ChatGPT to a favorite on Google Chrome. So whenever, if you just, if it I just typed like in ChatGPT, yeah, if I just typed in ChatGPT and I clicked enter, it would always be we're super, you know, high, a lot of people, high volume, high volume, a lot of no, people. No, I didn't get that, it. but it was when I was running the code, mm. like running the question. Sorry, it, it oh, would, okay. it would be coding, and then it'd be like, oh shit. Got uh, you. Timed out or something. Got you. Oh. I was just saying, if you add it to your bookmark, mm -hmm. once you're in, add it to your bookmark, like ChatGPT. Every time in. I click it, I haven't had a problem since. Really? Mm -hmm. I feel like I think it also. I've never had a problem with Safari. <laughs> also, <laughs> did you just flex on having Safari? Bro, Safari right? sucks. Bro, I got it's the new good, Mac. Bro. First thing I did was download Chrome. Yeah, dude. Chrome is the, Chrome <laughs> is the best. It's fine. Stay in the past. I did see. <laughs> I did see Safari though has some new uh, updates, bro. and I was looking into it. If it you have looks a Mac, pretty good. If you have a Mac, I'd suggest Safari. Bro, but the you biggest know, thing I like is like don't click viruses. You have Google accounts, and like that, ha like saving your password and along, yeah. and like mm -hmm. you could use it across multiple devices. I like that. It's just signed in when I'm always signed into my account. It's just nice, yeah. especially when you use the drive so often. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. As and YouTube. Yeah. And YouTube, yeah. I so agree. it just automatically, you know what I mean? What jobs do you guys think are at um, risk? At risk here I think for it's for hard AI because it's still at the beginning and the agree. coding part is still very, like, you still got to know a lot of code in order to use the yep. program. There's still some problems you there. You still got to know your background behind code. Yep. You know what I mean? To, in order to use it right now. Yep. But I think it shows the capabilities of the future. Yeah. You I know think what I mean? And with the beginning of this, and the fact that AI is only able to learn from itself and get better and better, yep. it's pretty scary yeah. at the same time. I agree. I think a lot of jobs are at risk here <laughs> because of the fact that like, dude, you can go to school for coding, yeah, you know, for all, literally another thing. All I asked four years. I asked a coder who is in this field program has a high up job now. I, it was Anthony Texera. Okay. He, oh, yeah. He's, he's doing smart. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was using I'm like, I showed him it. And I'm like, yo, look at this program. And he's like, um, there's something similar where it, just, it shows you like uh, other people, like celebrities just talking back, sending me messages back. I don't know. It's like some AI, very, very similar. Sure. And he saw that. And he's like, this is pretty similar. But he asked another question. And he, even he was surprised by the answers that he was getting back. Yeah. It also, dude, yeah. it teaches, it not only spits out the code, but it says how to use the code. 
and what lines do what. Yes. Yeah. So and it, and what parameters to fill out yourself. Yeah, it's so, so advanced. Fucked. So as long as you have some sort of like uh, very base knowledge on coding, I think like that's all you really need to do a lot with this technology. So I think a lot of yes. jobs are at risk in the sense of you know not having to learn that much on your own, but like yep. still having like some base knowledge, obviously, and then the more advanced stuff. Um, but I think even even then, the advanced stuff is going to get taken over by AI. You need the theory, but high up level people are not needing less programmers now because yeah. they're like, I don't need you. I can just get this thing to. I just got to tell this thing what to do, exactly. and he'll do it. Bro, a founder, you know, that has an idea doesn't need to have exactly. higher developer. He can be like, Hey, True. this is my idea. Can you code this? Yeah, and it will literally come up as long as you have like the create. I think the biggest thing that AI can't replicate is creativity. Yes. And I think that's what is going to thrive in the future of the job markets that won't get taken over is the creative, you know, um, entrepreneurial, you know, that is going to be where people are going to have to kind of like focus in on. Yeah. It's I more think on like the work and like, you know what I mean? And more of how the guy thinks like you don't need as much workers. Yeah. It's the more one man business. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They create like, you, you, don't need, scary. you don't need it's a development scary. team anymore. You could have one guy oversee it all, and then like all this like little bullshit, he can just yeah. type into this and grab it off of there. Seriously, yeah. if which you is can pretty get, crazy. Yeah, if one guy, especially five years from now, like imagine what it's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah exactly. Like right now, it's very basic. Like I didn't really go into the coding aspect of it, mm -hmm. but like five years is probably pretty advanced. Lawyers, bro. Other than the fact of actually appearing in court and making a case, like it's something simple, like um, contracts, agreements, filing stuff. That is assistance. all assistance, assistance will be wiped out, wiped out. All of that is yeah. going to be done by AI. Dude, you could type in. I saw you can type in, make me an agreement for uh, an employee that is like, these are the terms, blah, blah, blah. I did Bro, that. Spits it out perfectly. Yeah. Imagine I pencil that they in added too. like a voice aspect where it just recognizes your voice now. Like you, you all you have to do is say something mm -hmm. and it just takes voice recognition. That's, and that'd it, be sick. And exactly. if you make a mistake in what you're saying, it, it talk could, back to you or it something. It could be like, do you mean this instead yeah. of this? Like. Yeah, I mean, so now you're not. Yeah. Yeah. You're just going to only continue to be smarter. Yeah. Do you know what industry I think is going to get kind of like fucked necessary is like this teaching system. So now, I mean, I saw a kid on TikTok had his entire essay written for him. Didn't have to do jack that shit. That is the hard Coding. Part. So now what do you do? You can't do at home assignments. Hey, we have an essay due in one week. You have to do this tic-tac-toe project in your coding class next week. You can't do anything. You gotta like monitor them. You have to, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> so now it's becoming, I think projects are going to turn to just tests. You're going to get rid of at home assignments. I think everything has to be done in this class monitoring them because there's no way to get around this the, now you can just cheat the way that people is getting more and more though like less reliable on like studying and just like finding information like yeah the, you yeah. have the internet to your at your hands that's you know why I mean? yeah, that's like, why people before were using like trying to memorize how to do calculations in their head now we just got like everything's just done i think yeah. i think at home assignments are just gonna not be a thing especially well, when our kids are in school every if you actually just want to determine the skill level of a student pupil pupil student to student just give them a test Give them a hey, finish this project in an hour and a half. It has to be basic enough that they can do it in an hour and a half and see who does it. Bro, That's you, just knowledge. I think eventually, though, that like ChatGPT will just be like uh, like a tool for like these computer science classes, like yeah. how to use it and like how to learn from it and like yeah. the science behind it because you can just do everything on there. Yeah. You Instead should, of actually learning how to like fully code. Bro, yeah. it should be. And I think it's it would be stupid for the school not to just integrate the tech that's available. Or but that. at the yeah. same time, when you learn the theory and stuff like what they teach now, it makes them. You need to know that stuff. You do. If you want to, like, for the, like, uh, and more like advanced. for us to advance, yeah. To for advance. the advanced, you need to know exactly. basic theory, but, like, a small basic. No, if even basic, you need to know the theory of it. You do. Like, yeah. Other than just copy you can't and under, If you don't understand it behind the scenes, you yeah. won't be able to then think the, of the next thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The only thing you could really do is copy and paste, and you can't exactly. add on. You can't subtract. It'll, you can't, like, make it your own. It, mm -hmm. If you really want to now, because of the fact that this is out, you could make these at-home assignments more challenging where there's more you know requirements you're making more advanced programs because of the fact where you could do a lot of this stuff now it's more so utilizing your resources get it done type of thing so you could do that yeah. i don't know how they're gonna go Bro, about imagine it. like when apple glasses come out that's coming out soon that's you're gonna fucked. have this shit seeing a screen in your you're gonna have like chat gpt scanning your text oh or something God. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and wow. then it's just gonna be giving you answers on your <laughs> yo that's gonna be nuts that's crazy dude honestly like, that's just yeah. like what the future could be whole like you know yeah what I mean? no i, I hear mean, you yeah i feel like it's 
I mean, the education system <laughs> itself is just so outdated. It is. I think, oh, yeah. it, I think it needs to just strip it all back instead of like teaching people, you know, all Technology. these like really advanced theories and like, yeah. it needs to strip it back to the intangibles that an, a technology can't teach you or yeah. can't do for you. It's like working in a team, you know, that is the stuff that really, really needs to be focused on yeah. communication, like knowing what to even put into chat GPT yeah. for it to exactly. spit out the right it's, thing. It's going to be impossible to keep up because technology is moving faster than yeah. they can keep up with. Yeah. You need to just teach people the basics of like human life, you yeah. know, and like what that needs to be focused on, like yeah. screw like this super crazy calculus thing. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, you could use it in, in the sense of like if you're teaching going, someone problems. If you want to go in that, then you go in that specific one in school, in university. You know what I mean? That direction. Yeah. yeah. Then you actually go study it. Yeah. yeah. But and you get whatever. Yeah. PhD. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think creativity is a big thing. Like even like, let's say like a physical job or like a firefighter trades. Like a lot of the times, like it could tell you exactly what to do, but like there's a lot of times where you have to be very creative with the way you do it, the way you run stuff that like maybe an AI couldn't think of. Yeah. So like mm -hmm. keeping that creative mind of students and like the like younger generation coming up is the big thing I think yeah. with all this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause on, on that note, even like entertainment, what we're doing, like you, that can't be replicated by AI. AI is yeah. going to be boring as hell. Yeah. It's going to be very like robotic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Cause there's no character. It's just like, Here's the answer. Yeah. Here's the thing that you told yeah. me to do. I didn't yeah. even know if it's right or wrong. It could be harmful. It's just this is an answer. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. Honestly, advice to people, you know. <laughs> it's move technology is moving so quick, yeah. dude. <laughs> and f I would say focus on like building, I would say your your own thing. Yourself. Yep. Yeah. Or just go into something that's like never going to get outdated kind of thing. But like it's weird cuz everyone was saying like oh, computer science is the next big thing, next big thing. But Something now, like this could take if, it over. If this becomes as big as like it has potential to be, like now it's like, what's the need for like going yeah. to study? I don't see science. why it can't just cut that guy out who's programming. It's, the it, guy who's it could reach that point. point. You know what I mean? Like it'll, soon. it'll cut out a lot of jobs. I think. I think so too. 1, Which is crazy that something like this could just come out and it's just like Goodbye. game changer. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I would. You really gotta like think out of the box, be like creative in a sense. Like that's something that will never get replaced. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Like even when we were doing like open race, like if if I if this thing was a thing, you could just type in, type get a demo at least, you know, and yeah. then you could be, then you focus on, you know, like raising money, like selling, getting people, marketing, like that's all stuff that you are still going to need to do. But the AI can't really. That the AI, AI can't. can't. Physical yeah. work or whatever. AI physically can't. Yeah. It's more so just doing tasks mm -hmm. or giving you a resp an answer back. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Damn. Damn. All right. Moving on to fan questions. Yeah, guys, we have a couple Dang. of fan questions here for those right now. Um, if you're watching on the YouTube, appreciate you guys. Squirrel Brunch podcast. We're at almost, I think, 2.3K, so we've been crushing on there. Um, any questions you guys want us to answer, just comment down below. We, we're going through the two questions from last week's episode. Question from Jordy Julia. Would you guys consider doing a Buzzing Across America Europe? I mean, absolutely. 100%. I mean, there's nothing. I, I think can't wait if we so we international travel. Yeah. Buzzing across Europe. You always, you always drop America, man. <laughs> it's not America. You, you'll it's buzz not across America. America, Europe. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's buzzing across Europe. 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 Yes. You I think that would be. Properly. And then that whatever. Be, maybe like France edition. Yeah. <laughs> France, <laughs> Croatia, Croatia oh, yeah. Portugal. Oh, yeah. France. oh, all of France. <laughs> no, no. I just mean like we're in Paris or something. But it'll be located France. You know what I mean? That's more like. Oh, yeah. there's, there's definitely a couple is paris the only big city in france no uh, we're not gonna do multiple like, i think it's gonna be just country hop. i don't know i was just saying no that's a law for a video bro italy you could go like southern southern italy you can go northern italy. oh no i would like, think just one country I feel like that's What's really you can't do one now. country now for a whole so video niche. i think yeah what do you I mean think it's so niche no bro. some places you how might are you be gonna able, do one some country places if you do like one stop or some something, places like, yes but like you got places like croatia there's multiple spots italy uh, England is a lot of spots. Yeah, England. Think of Spain, bro. Yo, yeah, Spain. yeah, but how long are we going to be in Europe for? Like, it's going to be a year, like a couple months. Okay, but Europe, you could do like there's so many countries, quicker, bro. Though. So then, if you want two videos per country, this is more than a couple months. Now, how many there? countries, like realistically, would we hit in Europe? This Portugal, is, Spain, Croatia, Italy, England, France, France Belgium, already maybe Belgium. Belgium. You got to go. You got to Netherlands. Yeah. Yeah. Netherlands. All right. So eight times two, go sixteen. That's four months, and I think we're missing quite a few already. Yeah, but some of those won't have. Yeah, more like than I would city. say, like even like someone yeah. like France would I have one. Like it's Netherlands is probably one just city. gonna be Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam exactly. Amsterdam would be the big one. Yeah. Someone like London or uh, England, you might have a couple. Yeah, England's got a lot. Yeah. London, France, you, you have, could have somebody... one. Spain, Switzerland is definitely up there with what I've heard about Switzerland. I don't know about multiple. 
I mean, it really depends on the country. Switzerland's like that. Was yeah, for China. Was hey, I'm, high, I'm down to place, be. Right? Yeah. I'm all game for half a year in fucking Europe. That would be sick. <laughs> I'm yeah. May, man. Teach the, I <laughs> Bro, keep it coming. Think of how long it took us to do America. It's a yeah, yeah, fair point. We're still going. <laughs> we're <laughs> we might be a year. It's, it's going to be a year two, in Europe. Two years in fucking America, man. <laughs> two and a half. It's going to be two, be two and a half. It'll be two years by the end of Two and a half. How many weeks total? So the first one was 13 weeks, then six, then 13. So 26, 32. Another sixteen, fifteen, or fifteen, fifteen. So and then forty-seven, thirteen, sixty, yeah. and then the sixty weeks. That's over a year long. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but so I mean, year, that year and eight weeks. We went to sta- like individual states. Like they don't. We're not going to that many countries. Yeah, but we got to do cities. Yeah. So a yeah. trip like yeah, we'll be like eight months. Half in Europe. a year's chill. Half eight months in year. Come back with like a fucking well, we baguette or something, man. <laughs> come back with a, a tan. Hopefully, we could go to maybe box. Brazil. You know, once just hop over. <laughs> uh, South America, man. <laughs> I I do want to go to the favelas. So no, not the what? favelas. Bro. I do want to go there. I'm trying bro. to like get shot up. Or bro, if you know <laughs> the right, this is an MW if you too. know the right people, you can go anywhere. Steve in the world. knows the right people. Bro, it would be sick. look how cool that'd be to go there. No, that's scary, bro. It's definitely scary. You the the high bro, I see. I saw when the World Cup was happening, they were all on the coach bus these guys are literally running up to them as these guys are on the phone in the bus the windows open they jump grab the phone while they're on it while they're on it and they run away steal it yeah they stole that, argentina that players ba- phones no no this is like back in when it was in uh, 2014 in oh damn it's just bad it's just so bad in india uh, i mean india brazil <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go to India. Or we could. I'm so down, sick. bro. I'm low. Imagine we all ride elephants New Delhi. down there, dude. New Delhi. I'm down to go buzzing across India. Asia, <laughs> it's it's Asia. buzzing Asia. across Asia. Asia, buddy. I would love to be in. We go to South. Co- yeah, we go to meet Kim Jong Un. North Korea, baby. <laughs> I would hate Russia. That, yeah, we're not being Asian allowed food. out. You can't visit bro, Thailand. Would be Good. insane. Bangkok. Thailand <laughs> would be a banger. Straight up, hilarious video. <laughs> in, where is that? Is Thailand a country? Thailand's a country. Yeah, yeah. In Bangkok, Indonesia. 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 Bangkok, Indonesia. Bangkok, Bangkok, Bangkok City, Bro, Singapore, is Bali, the capital. Really nice. Go to Bali, dude. Indonesia. We could do yeah. So Vietnam, 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 really Vietnam, nice. Vietnam. Back to now. Now that I'm thinking about it, we <laughs> might do an entire year in the entire world. Well, let's be real. If we're going all these, like even it's gonna South be a whole America's year. Got some spots. Fifteen too. months. <laughs> yeah, South America. I think the I one think thing you miss is Africa. Because I don't really know. The no, we go on the safari, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah definitely uh, one stop in Africa. Like it's South, Af- like South Africa is not that Africa, bad. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, we, Josh D'Souza can take us on an African trip. He can. He's got some connections. We have a boy down, down, down there. Fucking cousin Crypto, man. Crypto, crypto, crypto definitely too. knows where to fuck down there. But he's got like travel. Like Josh got like yeah. travel. Um, he does. I, it's, I don't think it'd be much like a party trip. I think it'd be more like just an South Expo- Africa. Exploration trip. Like you're just going through the sea shit. You're going to follow with a lion? dude. Funneling with a lion? That'd be Bro, imagine bro, Steph running after think, a lion. I don't think we could. No. <laughs> I can't see us doing an Asia tour or something. Yo, I could 100%. The lion call, culture bro. is definitely not in our vibe. <laughs> yeah. But, I, for, dude, uh, South Korea's raves are apparently nuts. Yeah, like, look at all the a, a lot of yeah. Asian so, cultures. Oh, Japan raving. would be sick. All Japan, Japan South Tokyo, Korea. Tokyo. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, they're dude, in the future, dude. Dude, if you, look at, sick, if you yeah. remember EDC, it was all like, bro, you didn't know, you say culture? China dr- consumes the most alcohol? Well, that's also because there's more that's people. That's weird. Bro, let's be real, man. They're not throwing down, I feel like they're... <laughs> Yo, did, I, did you guys see that <laughs> stat about China? 37 million people wait, wait, caught COVID in one day. <sighs> That's all bullshit. <laughs> I know. I was like, where does this number come from? I had COVID too. How, even, how did you even report that many wait, people in this, one day? Is this recent? Yeah. I started a couple days ago. Oh, okay. That's just cap then. Cap? COVID's done, bro. And That's what I thought. Yeah. What's 37 next? million people. Government's yeah. over. They're the f- tired of it. Crazy, dude. Insane. Right, what's the next question? Next question we have is uh, from SuperHow9. This guy's always active in the chat. Keep commenting, brother. Uh, how did the name Squad Brunch Podcast come to be? Do you want to answer this one or? Yeah. I mean, well, it started off with just like us going, you know, to breakfast on like Sundays. Yeah. And yeah. And being like Squad Brunch. Squad Brunch. Since the Michigan. Movie. Since no, Michigan. From, Jimmy, from the Jimmy Tatro's Jimmy Tatro. YouTube video, oh, Squad yeah, Brunch. Squad Brunch. That's where the inspiration fully came from. But then. Yeah. And we then, started having Squad Brunches. Yeah. Well, it yeah. came from that and we would call it Squad Brunch. And when we were thinking of doing a podcast, Pierre was actually the one that like hit up our group chat and was like, yo, you when you guys do a podcast, you should call it Squad Brunch. And we're like. It's actually a really good name. It's a really good name for a podcast. And we're like, yeah, it kind of makes sense. We, we do it at that time. We do do it every Sunday. You kind know? of at the time. Not, yeah. at, not at the time at all. No, no. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, the, after yeah. when, yeah. Brunch time you know, Sunday, we usually go for a squad brunch and then we'll do it or yeah, something. Yeah. 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 Squ- yeah. Sunday's a squad brunch day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. That is, that was the squad brunch day. <laughs> so it makes sense. Yeah. Um, and we do kind of like talk about the week as if we are in a squad brunch. Yeah. You know, so recoup. Like, we, to, no, to we rethink of, of our weekend, ideas. Yeah. Kind of yeah. thinking, when do we drop squad brunch merch? 
soon or well, maybe we drop some like know. buzzing merch we need buzzing merch buzzing merch, merch. yeah i think we need to up that merch. first and then we can then word 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 <laughs> i do like the colors though it's pretty dope pretty dope i like yeah. the teal i mean I, yeah I'm a teal, is big it teal pretty guy. similar to that color you know yeah it's just revert pretty our normal colors almost yeah more yellow than blue okay then we're gonna head on to debate questions now um appreciate you guys watching on the youtube that means a ton um First one here. Got another top five series. This is also a big shout out to Chris Shelton who commented on the YouTube this top five series. So Steph, we're gonna start with you. Okay. What is your top five beers? All right. We started off with a shower beer. Okay. I just felt like, you know, towards the end of the trip we were doing more those morning shower those morning beers. Yeah. I think it was not that bad. It was pretty good, wake you up, you know. Yep. Then I got the beach beer. Okay. Always on a sunny day. Feels good, you know, cold beer. Tailgate beer. It's because it's a good time to drink beer, you know. Awesome reasoning. <laughs> every good single time, one of his reasoning good time to drink like, beer. You know, good time to drink beer. Okay, airport beer, but this is like a probably more like a rum and coke. You know, I'm, you're probably waiting for your flight or something. Yeah, a couple hours. Who knows? Um, and then the good time to drink beer. Exactly. Yeah. Great. No alcohol. Yeah. Hard liquor maybe. And then the fifth one, I said a free beer, mm. because who doesn't love free alcohol? Yeah. You mean that was your first? That's the first. Sorry, first That's number one. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Good list, Steph. That's that a good list. list. What about you, Chance? All good times to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Super good. Times Great times. I missed mean, my five top top five times. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, so I have number five here: snowboarding beers. Oh, that was actually. It's an interesting one. Slope beers. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't slope think of that. Slope beers. Slope beers. I, I really do enjoy, you know, whether it's a mid like track, like you go to the restaurant and have a beer, or it's even the one on the oh, lift, you know, a lift beer. It hits nice, That's dude. That's a good We're one. Just going they down the do. mountain with the beer in hand. Yeah, because your your body's like pretty warm from like your the gear you have on, um, and there's just like something about like a, a lift one. beer. There's yeah. good. You know what doesn't suck though when you're towards the end of the like the trip, and then you're like like wet from all the beer, and then just like freezing hands and shit. Yeah, that's like if you're getting messy, <laughs> and shotgunning and all that. <laughs> it's kind of hard when you got gloves and like. Snow if you're just sipping on. Yeah. on the beer, and then though, you like, like you know you chug, and then yeah. you're like you just you spill on yourself now, and you're like yeah. smell like beer. But even one just like <laughs> going down the slope and having it in hand, and like oh, if yeah, you're cruising and like sipping as you go, it's nice. <laughs> well, yeah, it how nice how good's Fireball when you're on the slope? Fireball. Oh, hey, keeps it different. keeps you warm. Keeps you warm. That if a it's a one. cold, I think that's what it's made for. Sure. I think that's better. You know, quick down system. Swing loose. Yeah. Yeah. Those those shooters keeps the keeps the legs loose for yes. sure. It doesn't 100%. like stiffen you up. You know, it is it. It's certain ways down the hill when you're really leaning on one foot, dude. The legs can cramp up, and I think swing loop prevents that. We didn't go this season. We should go. We should, we dude. Should. I yeah. think we should go in Utah, dude. When we're in Salt Lake. Apparently, I was talking to somebody in Utah. That's a big vibe. Apparently, everyone goes there and snowboards on the I mountains. I was talking to a guy. I think if we're not doing anything on the Friday, the boys take a trip, a day trip to a mountain. It's right. Lake. It's right there. It is. It is literally going to be like a 20-minute drive. Nothing. It's I'm not down. Like, I'm down. I'm very down. Let's go, dude. Let's I'm go. I'm down. <laughs> I wanted to do that so bad. That's going to be If we sick. got time, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah. yeah. That could be that part of tough. our Buzzing Across America video if it is a big there, if it is a big thing in utah we should be doing it, it. is man. if there's nothing going on that day i'm down okay nice maybe we do a ski of prey after too Ooh. i think so maybe. <laughs> maybe all right so number four tailgate beers i think it's a perfect time to drink a beer you know sip on it good time to, to drink a beer yeah. <laughs> similar to what i <laughs> said you know you're leading up to the game day yeah. it's a long day um a lot of time to you know pre-game pre -game and beers. you sh you want to be a little bit buzzed going into the game yeah you know, you Tailgate don't want to be, don't be sober time. watching the game. Yes. That is a good one. Third, beach beers, hot day, cold beer, just mixes well together. You know, getting out of the water, refreshing, but also what is refreshing is sipping on ice cold beer. Nice. Like a Corona with a lime, you know? Oh, oh. That hits different. Oh, yeah. It's good on a beach. If it's like a resort vibe and not just like a Santa Monica beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Extra good, bro. <laughs> extra good. And if you want to get even really like freaky strawberry daiquiri yep Pina wait what colada. is that what is a strawberry daiquiri like a smoothie like bro it's like a i don't slushy. know what is it alcohol? i'm assuming it's rum is it alcohol it's rum. Yeah, yeah, it is alcohol. Rum. yo it's rum. good you would like you would fuck with daiquiris dude. cabo vibe man dude yeah. daiquiris are hard, i've never had a daiquiri bro. on the I've beach before no. i don't think i've ever had i've had a sip of a daiquiri but never on a beach have you ripped I've, a pina colada never I've had never, one. i've never had a pina colada never had a drink on a beach before like what in like a tropical location have you ever been on in a tropical location? Yeah. You just weren't a age, right? Like yeah, you weren't age. I went on like a Disney cruise. I went to like St. Martin and shit okay. like that. Okay, shit. So this is going to be... This will be like the first time when I'm like actually old oh in the Caribbean. Oh my god, dude! Oh bro, man, they this is like the nice. time. First time I'm gonna be able to let loose. I went once when when I when I <laughs> went with loose. my sister. <laughs> so like this guy has four kids and yeah, hasn't. Yeah, no, no, not away like from that. Like I have like a couple <laughs> drinks, but I'm like I'm with my sister. I'm not gonna drink a bunch. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, let loose. 
<laughs> not like we do that every Fuck. weekend. Let loose. No, no, but on the beach, I'm saying. Guy drunk, oh, let loose. <laughs> like a tropical location. Yeah, exactly. But he's got arthritis at 22. <laughs> no, I'm just 24. I'm just going to know. That's funny. Okay. Um, number two, I said dinner beers. I think a good restaurant draft hits different. And it hit, and it not only hits different, also gets you abnormally buzzed than a regular beer would. I think for some reason, when you're at a restaurant and you're just like having dinner, and you get that, especially the beer before the food arrived, and you you put that you're down, empty, you're empty, empty stomach. Yeah, you're buzzing into you're the, buzzing heading into, into the, the food. night. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, doing good. good. Um, so I like that. Also, draft beer I think is so much better than like can or bottle. Yeah, I never really understood that. Maybe it's just because I Cause hate you beer. You kind of get the taste of the can <laughs> a bit. I mean, I think we've been put we've put you in a bad scenario to yeah. like beer. Yeah, like the pub golf. I golfs never don't, don't don't like. I just never acquired like that taste though ever once, even before. You know, because I mean? you don't drink beer casually. You just I used drink to it though, some but like I like, try, I try to drink yeah. beer. Like when we like have parties or something, I try to drink beer sometimes. It's just like cans just don't, don't hit like the this. same though. They don't this draft. They don't. Maybe that's it. And that number one, I have airport beers. I honestly. I don't know what it is about it. Like maybe the once you hit get the plane, like the oxygen level or the the altitude, altitude difference, yeah, just like makes you like buzzed more. You get a little lightheaded or something, and then the alcohol hits you more. And maybe just the stress of that like environment of an airport, you know, security, you know, finally get through. It's like oh, this is probably worse. Can relax, have a beer. I've only did it once, and it was the best beer I've ever had. So Dude, that is my number one. I get you fucking hammered. I did it <laughs> yeah, once weird. I when I was too. by myself, which is probably the worst time to do it when you're by yourself. Yeah. I feel like that's a good time. Like, no, just the drinking. I guess when you're I by did yourself. it by myself too. That's a good time. <laughs> you just want to let loose, right? Yeah, you're just like you know what? I'm by I'm myself. What, what am I gonna do? Let loose. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe <laughs> listen to some music or watch a movie on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> I've loved that. Mac, what about you? Uh, I got starting out. Wait, was that your one story? Yeah. Okay, nice. One. Starting off at five, I got a free beer. Everything free, uh, free is better, so why not? Four, I got a tailgating beer. Going in a sporting event, a little bit buzzed. Makes the vibes better. Makes you uh, less calm for the bets. So, uh, Three, I got a dinner beer. That with like, a nice steak. Just hits different. Yeah. Tastes really good. Good yeah. combination together. Two, I got a golf beer. Oh, Getting man, fucked up on the golf course with the boys is probably one of the funnest things you can do. So, Got to have a golf beer yep. in there. And then one, I have a, a beach slash a boat beer. Mm. The vibes are there. It's hot outside. Women are looking good. I always love your boat beer. You just, just want to crush a boat beer, man. <laughs> is it cu- you want to crush a beer because the women are looking good? I think just in general. It just, it's, hot, it's hot outside, hot woman. Water's there. Get a little wet. Get a little silly. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know great. what I was thinking of July 4th when Mac, Mac was on that blue thing? Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was a good view. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just thinking about it. No, hey, I, you pick, I just I'm picturing that. it now. Oh, I can dude. see it now. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go for my five. I'm going shower beer. I think it's a solid beer. Usually means right before. It's like the pregame before the pregame. Before even getting your fucking clothes on. You're in the shower getting ready. Getting the getting the vibe started. So if you're, I feel like shower beer is solid, solid at five. Four, I go beach beer. It's hot outside. Nothing is better than a nice cold beer. Probably playing beach volleyball or something. Good spike vibes, ball. spike ball, anything. It's just vibes are there. Get a drink down. Feels great. Coming at three, I went golf beer. Nothing better than playing around with the boys. Could be getting absolutely blitz. Could be having a casual. But a golf beer sits nice in the stomach, especially when playing golf. Huge fan. Also, it gets you less tense, I would say. And it helps the swing it a little bit. It, it does. does. Sometimes, like, swing. sometimes when you're just sober, you're like, fuck. Do like maybe like five practice swings? <laughs> yeah. It's uh, so much, you maybe. Yeah. I Sorry, I, I, I'm a practice swing guy. But then when I, you get a, cut, a little loose, you, you don't even think about it. And yeah. you hit a nice shot maybe. Sometimes and I think you play a lot better too. I you're do. not as nervous to when you hit the ball. Maybe I not do. when you're hammered. Yeah. <laughs> but like a good, good buzz. buzz. Good yeah. buzz just because it's like, you know what? One practice swing, maybe even no practice swing. I'm just going to go up and fucking but even ding one here. When you're going for that swing, you're just thinking less. Yeah, exactly. You, it's a big mental game golf. Huge. And I yes. think if you can Huge. reduce that overthinking, Stress. it helps you a lot. That's it. Swing loop. Coming in at two, airport beer. There's, I don't know why airport beers hit as hard as they do, <laughs> but you can have two waiting for a flight. By the time you're on the flight, it's like, holy fuck, this is going to be the best time of my life. You're starting the fucking pregame for the vacation <laughs> before you got on the flight. Huge fan of airport beers. Also, I feel like going to the airport, you're fired up because you're going on some sort of a vacation. You're getting away. Start the vibes right. Let's get some drinks before the flight. Love it. Number one, man. And this kind of resembles my personality, and this is why it's my one. A free beer. <laughs> there is nothing better when a guy comes up to you. Could be anywhere. Could be at the bar. Could be at a pregame. Could be at a tailgate. But if they go out of your way to get you a beer, and it's a free beer. Thank you, dude. It's just like I feel happier knowing that I didn't Welcome pay for this. You're not, you're not saying no to a guy buying your drink at the club. No right? one said exactly. It's like a free beer. <laughs> they went out of the way for me to get it. I didn't have to pay for it. 
<laughs> I love things I don't have to pay for. Free beer. Normalize that shit. What if they bring you a warm beer? Oh, that sucks. I mean, how do you do that though? I don't think I've never been in it's the experience cold. when I've had a warm beer. Yeah, it's a bar- bartender's fault though, isn't no, it? Yeah, like at a tailgate, it's I, not yeah. like in a cooler. Just uh, we've had that before, where it's warm beer because they'll have like the the bush rack just sitting. Yeah, there. just sitting there. I mean, I think to me it's still a good beer because I know it wasn't my beer, and you that's know, why it was. A good I've beer. accepted a beer, but I've just probably passed it on. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like you're you're said, no, I give it in, that. double it and pass it on to the next guy. Yeah, I was like, yo, Mac, take my drink. Sipping on a warm beer is kind of dust. Yeah, I mean, I that might be one weird. of the worst things. Dude, in the world. a cold beer sucks. Fuck. Imagine a warm beer. <laughs> I mean, a cold, a cold beer definitely <laughs> for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my top five though. Um, nice. Next up here, guys, we're on top five fast food spots. So, Steph, we'll start up with you. Okay, I see I have my list here, but I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Five, I put Harvey's. Okay. Ooh. Great Angus Burger, but that's all they got. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. so how, that, <laughs> how is that a five? No, it's great Angus burger though. Oh. Like it's a I good go, burger. Like, like probably the best beef burger. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Four, I got Wendy's. Okay. A lot of options. Good chicken burger. Good, you know, baconator. Pretty classic. Then I got Popeyes. Okay. I love it, but it's actually falling down on my list now. Whoa! Really? This is that third now? Is there a reason uh, why? We don't have it that often, and then I don't know. I feel like I've acquired a taste for Chick Fil A now. Oh, yeah. But no, no, no. I may have spoiled my list, but you know, second is Shake Shack. We don't have it that often, but when we do, it hits. Yep. Yep. So good. Mm -hmm. And then number one, Chick Fil A. Wow. Yeah. You were a Popeyes guy. Yeah, but they only have chicken. Mm. You know, I guess Chick Fil A does does too. But. I only get the tenders. That's the only thing I like from Popeyes. They're honestly mid tenders too. No, they're not mid. Okay, they're mid. <laughs> the fries. The are fries mid. are also top. Fries tier. are good. Fr- fries are the best fries. Tenders are mid. Do you but think yeah. the sauce at Popeyes or Chick Fil A is better? I'm a ketchup guy, so ketchup's the same everywhere. <laughs> Fucking weird. All right, let's get. <laughs> no, actually, well, no. Chick Fil A does have Chick Fil A sauce, so that's why they get bonus. I'm points. so sick of Chick Fil A sauce for some reason. Dude, we I'm gonna be honest. I think fucking Popeyes has better sauces. So. Yeah. Because that black and ranch is just. I don't. Very I just think I have chicken Chick-fil-A sauce. I don't have other sauces is that pop so much more oh, premium I, I than agree. Popeyes. That, it with my matter. tenders, I just like ketchup. That's why. Word. But with my Chick-fil-A burger, I like Chick-fil-A sauce. It, would mm. you rather never have ketchup again or never have water again? No. Okay. I mean, that's, that's just, a big one. Like, obviously, yeah, okay, 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 that's a dumb never. I'd rather keep water. Okay. Okay. Cool. If you changed it though, I might, you know, what keep you ketchup. That? Like made like it more, a little option. more realistic, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, what about alcohol or ketchup? Oh, see, oh. that's hard. What? what? You go sober the rest no, of your life? No, I'm going to take alcohol. But like, that's hard just because of how much I like ketchup, bro. Damn. I eat ketchup, but it's like... That really shows how much you like ketchup. It does. It does. Okay, that's your, true. F- your favorite food item or ketchup? I'd pick ketchup. Because I have ketchup with more things. Like, I could get rid of one that's item. Fair. Wild, man. That's it's fair. Hard, that's fair. That's all fair. types of french fries or ketchup? Ketchup. Oh, you don't like fries? Yeah. <laughs> All types of burgers or no. for ketchup. Oh. Like beef, meat, beef or chicken burgers. That's fun. So you basically you can only have like tenders or like ground beef. Or like a hot dog. Yeah. Like Lizzie. Yeah. yeah. You like those though. What would you do? That's fucked. I don't think I would could do that. What it's going to be. Uh, but then if you have the ke- you have I the burger, have no you ketchup. don't have ketchup. <laughs> they go hand in hand. It. Fuck. Maybe I get like a sriracha. It's Okay, so you gotta you find a replacement. So I gotta find a replacement. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chance, what's your top five? <laughs> um, number five, I have Chick Fil A. Once again, I think that has moved down my list a lot because we have had it a lot, mm-hmm. and I'm kind of tired of the Chick Fil A sauce. You know, yeah. Um, you know, they're good, but they're, it's not great. Yeah, I feel that. Number four, Chipotle. You know, ne- I honestly never liked Chipotle. I always was like, that is not my thing. It doesn't have enough options. But I have gotten. I've gotten an appreciation for it more. It's the one that you can eat multiple times yeah. without getting sick. However, I hate when there is like too much fat on the meat pieces and it ruins my bowl. Like, you know, you get that one boy, one bite that just didn't hit well and it ruins the rest. And I, I really hate that. I really hate that. I wish that all Chipotle's really like had quality control on their meat. You know, nice. take really off. Cut that fat out, right? Cut, cut the fat out, bro. <laughs> and I would love it. I would love it. Um, also, I would take the green stuff out of the rice. I don't. I don't think it. It does well. What is it? I think cilantro. It, it looks like cilantro. It's like cilantro. Yeah. I think they should use like more of a. Do you even taste it though? More of like a Mexican rice. I think it's more of a placebo in your eyes. Yeah, no, dude. I taste it. I taste it for sure. Bro, I, no I think they should use a that, Laziz man. Osmos rice. Hit would be so much better. So much better. Yeah, but it's supposed no, to be. No, like dude. Healthier. A spicy Mexican rice would be so good. Sure. A spicy Mexican. Have that right? option then. Yeah, that at a least sauce. options. I no, think Chipotle is the one thing that they need a sauce. More options. 
A sauce. Just and a sauce. And more topping options. No? Yeah. To bind everything together. Yeah. 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 I agree. <laughs> um, three, I have Osmos. I'm a big fan of like shawarma. Okay. You know, it. it's something that I usually always get when I come back home and yep. it's not in I the States. I didn't see that happening. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to put that at, at three. I think that, to be honest, over Lizzie's, I've had some bad experiences with Lizzie's. The one in the Meadowville Town Center, bro, tasted like fish when Ew. I had it. That's I don't know what weird. oil they're I think using. It's a sauce, maybe. I, I don't know what they're using, but that one tastes like fish. Ugh. Tastes, ugh. Osmos gets it right usually all the time. Number two, California sandwiches. You know, it's it's not available everywhere, but when I come back home, I've, I'm pretty sure I've had it like four times already this <laughs> month. Jesus, yeah, I love it. Steak sandwiches with the with the sauce hits different. Um, so California, if you want to promo, and I, I know you saw, I know you posted that on your <laughs> on your Instagram. So if you want to hit up the boy with like free sandwiches for the year for doing that, that'd be great because it just give you another shout out. <laughs> Number one, Shake Shack. Honestly, I would definitely choose like meat burgers, uh, beef burgers over chicken any day of the week. So that's why I'm going Shake Shack. I think their burgers are definitely the best. Their fries are different we with the cheese fries. Had it more often. I wish we had it more often too. Great, great five right there from Chancho. What about you, Mac? Uh, number five, I have Jersey Mike's. I love a good sub, and uh, Jersey Mike's is my favorite sub spot, so I got to go there. Okay. Uh, four, I'm going Lazis. I'm going opposite of Osmos. I like Lazis's chicken shawarma wraps way better than Osmos, and I love a good chicken shawarma, so we got to put that in there. Three, I got Culver's. Oh, wow. I've their seen it, burgers, dude, Max been saying this. Their burgers are just so fresh, and they're so good. Like, when I have Shake Shack, it's very greasy, and I don't like getting my hands dirty like that. And it's just, I feel cleaner when I eat Culver's. And their cheese curds are fucking great. I'd, I'd prefer those over fries any day of the week. They, their cheese curds they slap. They're pretty cheap, I feel like, those cheese curds. Yeah, it's like frozen <laughs> they're, ones. Yeah. They're good, Costco. though. They're I don't good. like them that much. This they're is an good. insane take. That was the marinara every time, sauce. Every time I think they're going to be good, and then they're, like, they're very mid. Yeah, <laughs> and they don't even have good marinara sauce. They have Heinz, bro. Yeah, dude. And it's not even warm. It's good, man. It's, it's good. good. <laughs> wow. Culver's at three is That's just wild. Just yeah. blew hey. me off. Maddie's going to love shout that. Out, shout out the Midwest, baby. Uh, two, I got uh, Chick-fil-A. Again, very clean meal. I love chicken. They have great chicken burgers, and they have great chicken nuggets. Yep. Sauces are kind of mid there, but it's okay. And then that one, I have Chipotle. I eat chicken and rice every single day when I'm at home, so why not go to a chicken and rice place when I'm fucking getting fast food? Wouldn't it be the opposite? It's clean. It's healthy. <laughs> but I, that's one of my favorite foods, though, chicken and rice. So why wouldn't I get another place that's But you very eat it all good. the time. Why would you spend money on it? Yeah. It's, very, <laughs> it's, it's higher quality. It's good. That's what I would think of. You know, well. you're, like, you're, you're going to spoil Why, why wouldn't you want to eat your favorite food, though? Yeah, but like, I'm, why, like why wouldn't I don't get this nice food? juicy ass burger that's fucking going to make me taste so I good. I can make that too. Yeah. Why <laughs> would, like, yeah, but what's your like favorite food? It's like going to a steakhouse and saying, I'm getting chicken rice because it's my favorite thing. <laughs> okay. No, it's a fast food place though. <laughs> I, know, I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, reasoning could use some work, but I know you like Chipotle. <laughs> Chick, chicken and rice, it's a staple. Healthy. <laughs> it's it's, it's also probably the healthiest, healthiest fast food place you can get. So sure. one, one yeah, that part I get. I don't really like fast food, so... I see that. I get that. Yeah, dude. I've. I don't want to eat fast food. That's gonna make me feel like shit. Yeah, sure. I agree. I think Chipotle is the one that after I have it, I don't feel as bad as like other stuff. That's yeah. why. That's why I have a huge respect for yeah. Chipotle. It like when runs bro, through you, fucking though, bro. Well, Sometimes well, shit runs through me. I could have a fucking you apple. Personally and it's it runs through. You. you get the hot sauce, bro. It like you burns. personally it runs through you. Yeah. Yeah, but not as bad as like you got Osmos on your list. Like bro, that's gonna shit. Bro, that's way worse. Chip's like done his last like muscle, and he's just. Gonna, he's on his way to the bro, shake, sh shake Chip shack. Can eat a too, man. salad, bro. bro, and it's coming out. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> Once dude, he's done the last. A fucking of Osmos is way worse. A, a Osmos shawarma is way worse than a Chipotle bowl. And yeah, and yeah, all places are worse than Chipotle. But I think yeah. it tastes. You got better. all that greasy garlic and sauce and shit, buddy. It comes out and of me when I'm eating. Sauce. That's, that's where the calories are, man. I yeah, yeah. they fucking load, load that, that shit. I say light sauce though when I. Yeah, I don't like it if it's too much. It's like dripping. You I'm gonna go. The pool in there. I'm gonna go with mine. Um, starting at five, same as Mac. I went with Jersey Mike's. I feel like I needed a sub spot in there, and Subway ain't it. Jersey Mike's is like a premium firehouse sub subs. Maybe not. Jersey <laughs> Mike's premium sub. Fuck Subway. I'm going Jersey Mike's at five. Four. Going Wendy's. Super yes. underrated spot. It's got a lot of options for if you want beef or chicken and. I feel like I like it a lot better than McDonald's now. Yeah, so it's I'm gonna way better than McDonald's. In, I'm gonna pencil Wendy's in at four. I feel like it deserves that. Coming at three, Shake Shack. Whoa, that's the best burger, hands down. In and out, fuck off. If you like In and Out, you just you suck. Is that a that that macaron? Five, Wait, Mac, you like In and Out, right? It's not bad. In and Out sucks. Shake Shack. If you haven't had Shake Shack, that is the best burger spot, hands down. That's penciling at three. Coming in at two, Chipotle. Coming in for a clean, 
relatively solid eating like fast food spot where you're not like killing your body but it still tastes really good and i'm huge on chicken and rice chipotle fucks pencil in that net too and that number one it's just one that i just has a special just place me. in my heart join me a special place chick-fil-a <laughs> that is just to me i i love chicken from everything from the nuggets the chicken sandwiches Your girl and nuggets. i love and i love the sauce and to me that's just the perfect place if i want to eat out chick-fil-a you have my heart it's chick-fil-a at one I like it. Next question here. We got two more. Um, what's your guys' biggest holiday hot takes? I know we just finished Christmas. So, yep. Steph, what do you tell me? What's okay, going on? So, everyone hears this song every holiday season. You know the song, All I Want for Christmas? Yep. Yeah. I think it's overrated. Mm. Damn. Why? Just because I hear it so many times that, like, it's like, I just don't want to hear it anymore. Can you give me, I don't remember how the song goes. Can you give me a I quick, don't know how the song goes either. No, actually. yes, you do. You hear it all <laughs> I the time. I, I don't know how the Can song goes. Can you like me? the Soldier Boy remix? I actually don't remember this. All I word. want for Christmas yeah. is you. Okay, no, yeah, we were supposed to do something like that for D Rock. Where did we not we remember this? We do have it. In our <laughs> we song. Song. We have it's in it. It is in Bison it. Mix, sorry. Yeah. It's in it, yeah. yeah. Thanks, right. I'm not singing the song, though. No, can you try <laughs> to give a lead? No. Oh, you know the song, Chip. I, I want Yo, this is just a sing. failed attempt at getting me to sing every time. That C <laughs> was so funny when you did the fucking Ronaldo thing. Can you just try? Sure. No. Okay, I'll start you finish. No. All I want for Christmas. No, Chip. Fuck, man. <laughs> All right, like, fine. You. All right, no. Chance, what do you got? Um, biggest holiday hot take for me is Christmas shopping is much easier than everyone makes it out to be. No, that is a very hot take. Buddy, I went shopping with you. That was not easy at all. What <laughs> no, the hell are you talking I'm, about? Yeah, that but when me. did we go shopping? What day was it? December 23rd? Yep. Yeah, and I figured out all my gifts literally in one day. People start shopping all the way back at like Black Friday, a month before Christmas, and they're like stressing out like on what they're gonna get, bro. It's like if you like know the person any bit, like you could figure out what they would like. And I don't think this whole like telling I really honestly hate when people like say this is like what I want and then you just like get it for them. It really it honestly ruins the surprise. That's how they that's how you grow up think, though. I feel like as a kid, you you would tell Santa what you want, you know? Yeah, like a <laughs> list, though, at least. And, like, you might not get everything on the list. <laughs> you might get some things, though. Yeah, but it just <laughs> makes, like, everyone's life easier, though, if you just know, like, what to get. I think it ruins it, though. And I, and I feel like you, if you know the person enough, you would know what they like. What and and have listened to what they've said over, like, the past whatever. I think it depends you on also able who to you're buying it for. Want. Like, someone, like, my mom, just, like, doesn't, like, want money to be spent on her. You know what I mean? She's yeah. She's just... just doesn't care almost a get about a gift. Yeah, yeah, I agree in that sense, but I feel like also you should so kind of just like no, and I f yeah. people make it out like way harder than it that it needs to be. Christmas shopping is easy. Yes, beast. Very what about easy. you? What about you, Mac? Uh, I think uh, Christmas is a marketing ploy to counteract uh, seasonal depression. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was that is not what you said before, <laughs> yo. <laughs> it's it, it, it is, dude. It is like they. This time of the year sucks because the weather sucks. It's depressing. It's gloomy outside. It's snowy. It gets dark very early. And like there's nothing for like four months that happens. So why not put a holiday right here? Because Jesus was born. It then. was based yeah. on Jesus. But, like, the whole, <laughs> yes. The whole, Did you let, forget let about that? Let him talk. Let him talk. Yo, can, yo, can let, I, him talk. let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. The whole origination of Christmas. Yeah, sure. That's what it started off. But the whole like now media ploy, like these movies, like popularizing like Santa and shit like that. That's and like the whole marketing behind it and all the ads I put out is just to like keep this going and like make it a big thing every year. You know what I mean? What about in Arizona when it's not gloomy? Yeah, what the hell are they doing? And they still have Christmas. Well, th everywhere though is like relatively colder though at this time. Like it's that's the winter time. But it's still warm there. No? Yeah, during the day it's warm, very warm. At night it may be cold, but like yeah, I mean like yeah, but most like that's a crazy. You're take. you're taking now like it's one section of this. It's a hot take. <laughs> my hot take but dude christmas season is always nice though why would they counteract seasonal depression with it like what what about christmas would counteract seasonal depression well it's something to look forward to during the time span like like if, it is that joy like think if there's time. not yeah it's a, it's people argue it's the most joyful time of the year imagine if that wasn't there there's nothing to look forward to to this day what would you be looking forward to now? nothing like once halloween's done it's like what what is there till now till fucking like March, April. I think it's like this you know day I mean? that they celebrate, you know, the birth of the king. And people take the whole month. <laughs> and then they're December. like, it's like, yo, this guy is who we worship or whatever. Like, let's make it a joyous celebration. Yeah. And Santa Claus is not just like an imaginary character. It's based being off of like St. Nick. Oh, St. Nick. Yeah. But like this whole thing that they're doing now, like, oh, he can like reindeer, like flying, like that whole That's story. That's to make the kids like yeah. believe and have fun and shit. But that's now marketing ploy. 
Like, that's not how St. Nick actually was. Like, he doesn't fucking fly in reindeer. Didn't live <laughs> in the North Pole. Like, it's a whole marketing ploy. Don't tell the kids that. Yo, yeah, I mean, Chip also still that. believes, so be careful. <laughs> Chip still gets his presents from Santa. I do, too. Well, my do mom too. puts from oh, Santa. <laughs> you fuck. Yeah, they were, they were left out of my door. I don't know how they got there. <laughs> that was a great answer, Mac. I'm excited for that clip. That was fucking bomb, dude. For a guy that doesn't believe in a religion, you were fucking really going off there a little bit. Wait, what did I say? It was the day oh, the king was yeah. the, the Lord. I'm not saying I believe it, but I understand it. My oh, man. Look at you. You're also, not everyone like, believes in Christmas, so like, you're getting really yeah, I know. Me, so. yeah. I know. Nice. Good shit, dude. Different religions. All right, what about you, Trev? Yeah, so mine was apparently does, and like, I don't know if I want to like say it now. I'm kind of like counteracting my, <laughs> say it, my dude, point. Say it. Should I just say Wait, it? You, yeah. Oh, you're going to make one up. Like, yeah, I, 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 can we go back to me? Can we go no, back? Let's go. You're the only go? one left. You're the only yeah, one left. I know. Let's do the other question and then come back to me on no, this one. No, just say your point, dude. Say it. Getting hammered at the family Christmas party is not a problem. Now, here's my thing. I feel like for all of us, have you ever, do you ever drink at your Christmas family parties? No. Do you ever drink at your Christmas family no, parties? No, I'll drink like a, maybe like a wine. I won't get do you ever hammered. get a little buzzed? Do you yeah, ever get a solid buzzed. buzz? I won't get buzzed. Do you not get buzzed? hammered, but casuals, yeah. Do you ever get a buzz? No. Do you ever get a buzz? No, because usually I'm DDing. Yeah, it's okay. But if you weren't DDing, would you, would you be slamming back like four, five? Um, probably not because I don't look like the calories. <laughs> what a, okay. Come on, man! Okay. It's, That's it's, never, it's but Christmas Day. Nah. Dude, <laughs> who cares about your damn calories? <laughs> I don't like to drink unless you're getting fucked up, man. Straight up. I think. All right, yeah, that's fair point on Mac. I think it's like, at least for me growing up, it was like it was kind of like weird to drink with your relatives and stuff like that. But after, you know, Certain seeing age. other people's Christmas parties and you know having a few drinks and getting the vibes going, way better time. I love it. So yeah, that's fine. Nice. Get a little buzz for like your family. I feel like it's a majority. I feel like definitely yeah. a lot of people do it. Yeah. I feel like getting hammered on the Christmas party doesn't won't not hammered. Won't it's, lead to like yeah. great things. You know, like not <laughs> hammered. More so, just a super solid buzz. I think that's fair. Sneaky, underrated, I like, feel like fun. Most people, most adults, you know, at the party and like older kids in most families will have like a, a slight buzz going. Maybe one or two. Like I wouldn't consider Three, it a hot take. Four. Not a hot take. I would Seen consider it a hot take. All over. TikTok. I just think it's like looked against if you get like. It's all over TikTok. It's something. all over TikTok. Like people are just like drink with their families and shit. Yeah, this wasn't a good answer for Maybe me. Maybe this no, like this it's way. specific to your family. Yeah, it was. I, I don't. I don't. I see it too. I'm pretty on the same. Well, way. it's because like for me growing up, like we never like that just never happened. Exactly. With my family, it wasn't like no one was drinking. Only time it'll no happen. One, everyone. Anyone. At a wedding. Yeah, no one would drink. But when I go to like David's or like our other boys at Christmas parties and everyone's like taking down sangria, beers and stuff. I'm like, well, this is lit, dude. It's like, always usually very casual, though. I don't think anyone's like putting down 10 shots. No, no, I'm not saying Maybe put like down 10 shots. shots. I'm so. saying they're getting the buzz going, though. <laughs> they're getting the buzz going. They're feeling they're loose. Like they're actually drinking. Whereas like your they're, family, they're like they're joking. There's not even like a bottle of wine popped. Oh, nothing. Like, no, nobody even drinks. Like, not dude, nothing. It's like sober Sally's, bro. So for me, oh, when okay. I see other people's Christmas parties, I'm like. Yo, why am I not getting blitzed Maybe with my your uncle? Family is, your, your family is I different. I think you're, oh, you're extending this too far. Like, you saying blitz and hammered is like, like you a haven't even buzz. popped a bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah, and you're, you're saying, you, I see you people want getting sip. blitzed. Like, solid there's a buzz. difference here. Chip's like, asking for that first sip of wine, and now he's talking about getting blitzed. I'm yeah. saying, Nobody like, has beer either, five drinks. No. No beer. Okay, I'm well, saying, that's like, like odd. It's sticking to sparkling water. It's like, what's going on here? Every family party, like, you know, like, you're definitely offering beer or wine, like, right off the bat. Like, no one's saying, hey, you want a water? Yeah, of course. I haven't been in my Christmas. There's They're always having a glass like of a, wine. A sangria thing, you know. But a controlled amount. Yourself. Yeah. A controlled amount. Yeah. Fuck. It's just casual buzz. We got to normalize getting blitzed at family events. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's what I'm learning here. <laughs> oh, so it is. You mean like blitzed. Like Six, hammered. Like, dude, I'm solid buzz. Like you okay, want to get fucked okay. up? Yeah, we're going solid in buzz. circles All right, now. okay, yeah. Okay, what is your guys' number one rule to, to live by? So am, I, am I first? Oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> Steph. I, I I was looking at you. My bad. I see. I, f I think I've always done this. Always believe in myself. Never mm -hmm. back down, and just like always believe I can do it, no matter what situation I'm in. Nice, nice. Good like shit, that. dude. I like yeah. that. Uh, mine is uh, to take risks and, yep. and do what makes you uncomfortable. And usually that's like saying yes to certain things. So I think similar to uh, I think I learned a lot in like high school from watching Yes Theory. Yeah. And like doing like saying yes to more things going outside of your comfort zone yep. and I think that like helps you build a lot of skills that you need in life yeah taking risks is especially when you're young is something you should 
definitely doing something that I live by. Nice. That was a really good one. What about you, Mac? Uh, life's not about the destination. It's about the journey. I think people get caught up too hard in like the where they're going, like where they're going to finish. And they don't sit back and like take the time to like grow and like realize like what's going on in their actual life and like learn, like enjoy the memories kind yeah. of thing. It's a good point. Like Living yeah. the memory. Doing the small the things. Moment doing the, doing the small things to get there. Because like realistically, I feel like the... The journey is better than the actual destination. Mm-hmm. Yeah, way better, dude. I was yeah, looking some at people get there when they're late. Who knows how old? And then they're yeah. like, "Fuck, I'm already this old." Yeah. yeah. And then like, what it's, am I? I miss my back. entire life. Yeah. Yeah. I even thought about that. I saw a TikTok yesterday of like, I think I sent in the chat with like the Despicable Me's. Yeah. And it's like the boys like 20 years from now like live watching, like I looking back the videos and I was like, <laughs> memories. bro. And I was just <laughs> thinking like, fuck, like yeah, like that's life. You know, life's gonna go on. You know what I mean? So it's. Make we, the memories now, have yeah. fun. And we're like documenting living that. Like the we're moment. literally, yeah, not only are we living in the moment, we're literally filming That's everything. Crazy. We film everything we do. So everything every is weekend, documented. Everything's <laughs> documented so we can always go back and watch that. Like if we weren't doing this, we would be what? Going out and just yeah, just going just out. Like we, there's no memory. There's like no that recollection. 2019, that 2019 summer. Yeah, but like <laughs> looking back on it, you don't have many videos. It's just in our heads. It's, it's just in your head. Well, not even just like for us because we do videos and stuff. But I'm just saying like anyone in general though, like, like, I feel like people, like, when they're kids, like, like to look forward to, like, when they're an adult and they, they don't sit back and realize, like, like, when you're 20, when you're 30, and when, like, in your yeah. teens, like, those are some of your best years of your life. Like, you go to yeah. high school, even make when some you're of your friends kid. as your kid, like, the simplest time of your life, early 20s, like, you're probably traveling, doing this shit. Like, there's a lot of good things that happen there, and a lot of people want to skip part of they that. Do. And they don't appreciate that part of their life. That is a good point. They just want to move f- forward to, like, the part where they have, like, kids or whatever. It's almost like maturing not maturing too fast but growing up too fast yeah. you don't want to miss those like opportunities in your life right? yeah, it yeah. is this is the prime age to travel you know what i mean to see different parts of the world that's what one of my uncles said was like it's really cool how you're gonna you're able to see all these different states and opportunities and events like, he like was all like, the cultures too yeah. so sick he was asking questions about each city would you not like would you like and he was it was a cool way to think about it. He's like, yeah, like it's a good thing you're doing this now. That's smart. Yeah. And the same thing, like we're all getting to the same destination. So yeah. you got to enjoy the journey as much as you can in life. Yeah. So that was a good, that was a good one. I went in mine, um, live, live every day. Like it's your last, you know, um, yesterday's gone tomorrow isn't promised. So I think living, living and making use of every day, every opportunity, whether that's, you know, asking that girl out on a date that you really wanted to or taking that job opportunity I that know about the girl in the day. can you shut the fuck up and let me have my fucking moment man taking that job opportunity that you know might not come now traveling when you can i think there's you never know what can happen and life's kind of crazy like weird stuff happens so taking the time and opportunity to do what you want to do um even at the prime age when you're young is just it's worth it and i think a lot of people need to know like take that chance um and live it up because you never know when when the last day is so that's mine he's not saying that he's doing it. he's just giving examples yeah you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no <laughs> yeah mean, he's giving advice right yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> wait was that bad <laughs> no i was just kidding no, okay. i was just kidding Sorry, yeah <laughs> that was mine um yeah that's all we got nice that was, good. That was that a good felt podcast long I feel that like. felt long yeah. was it long how Tony? long is it i don't know oh, oh i knew God. that was long we were rambling really? long time for oh the chat gpt 340 yeah, look, we got a Fuck. special game. Oh, yo, Harley's oh, coming wow. in. wow. Okay, we got Harley coming in. Maybe, I don't know if he'll come. Yo, can come he pull there, over? Maybe. Harley, come here. Come out trail the pod. Yo, he's going to rip a cord. Come up here. Nah, he's hey, good. Come oh, out to the podcast. He's moving slower. Go up there. there. Right here, buddy. Harley, right. go up there. Come. Oh, yeah. Up. Can you get up? Go up. Jump. Yeah, just call him. Call go him up. up. Come here, Harley. Nice. Ah. Good boy. All right. Help us out trail the podcast. We appreciate you guys tuning in for the episode 17 of Squad Brunch. If you guys like dogs, hit that subscribe <laughs> button. If you don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. So <laughs> we appreciate you watching. Subscribe, like, comment. We'll see you guys next week in 2023. Damn. I, forgot, I didn't even take that in. Yeah. Wild. Appreciate you guys. Peace out. Peace, Peace out. Peace, baby.